Dungeons and Dragons. And junk drawer. You just lose one hand. Uh, so you're you're barely hanging on. Okay, I'm gonna help him now. Okay. Um, while since you, that happens, uh, we're gonna have some some visitors because they hear the commotion. Sweet. Is that fourth stone that went down? Is it still going down, or has it floated back the, up? The third stone, the one that he jumped on right here. I thought that one. I thought he jumped. Yeah, I thought he jumped on the one that was in front of us. I thought uh, he no, on that one. I was describing that the only one he would be able to jump onto would have been this one right here. Oh, got it. Okay, yeah. is that one still like down? Yeah, it's has sunk. It, it, it has sunk. It's permanently sunk. Yes, okay. it's gonna be one hand in it. Ten four. Now's the time to fire, guys. The company. Mm. Oh, there's the one without the head. <laughs> yeah, I dropped it when I was gonna go paint it, mm. and it didn't survive. <laughs> So, yeah, guys, roll initiative again. Initiative. 17. Not much I can do from her. Okay, so 25 to 20? 26. 26? Hot shit. Oh, I'm sorry, 23. 23. Still. 23. Still good. Um, okay, so then that's that's Jack. 25 or, or 20 to 15. 17. Okay. Okay. Uh, then 15 to 10. 14. And Trev. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Okay. Um, so that means we are uh, we are beginning. Jack, you are currently hanging on the disc. Uh, what are we going to do? Uh, I'm going to go like Guy Fieri and go, fuck it. I'm on one, and I'm going to try to move as far as I can to the group. Okay, uh, so... I'm going to drop and move and try to run forward. Okay. Um, he, he helped pull you back up, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So I'll jump forward. So you're going to have to make an acrobatics check to try and get to the rock that is ahead of it. <clears throat> okay. So make your okay. acrobatics check. Uh, that is a modded 20. Cool. And then make a dexterity save just because since it's so warm in here, it is very slippery okay. on the rock. Um, so Got it. Moist. Oof. Uh, that's another natural one. <laughs> oh, okay. So you have slipped. Uh, so since you slipped, uh, you fell forward um, to try and grab onto the stone ahead of you. I need you to make an athletics check. Okay. Uh, 14. And unfortunately, it is a failure, so okay. you're not able to pull yourself on that rock. Mm -hmm. uh, as of right now, you are currently starting to sink. Okay. I'm sinking. I'm sinking. Just drink. Oh, no. Okay, so that's Jack's turn. Carver. Uh, Which platform am I on? Uh, yeah, you are here. here. Um, so you're, you slipped off of that one, and you are currently sinking. Yeah, I thought you were just you. That's you. Oh. Sorry. Oh, don't, God, don't good evening. Sorry, I thought, well, you were both up there. I know, so. I was talking to Justin. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Don't kill me, bro. I'm not Sorry. trying to, I promise. Okay, so we don't know how deep the muck is, right? Based on him telling you that he's sinking, you can assume that it's at least deeper than he is. Height? Uh, as deep, deeper than he is tall? Sorry. Is that yeah. Work? Would you constitute him prone? Um, I would say that you are prone, yes. Okay. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to move up to the edge of it as much as I can and then uh, go down two or just put put me down one more yeah that way just so I have them in line of sight okay um, uh, yeah I'm just gonna attack with the sling that I picked up earlier okay cool um, the sling has a uh, range of 30 feet and a uh, um, 30 to 120, so 30 feet, you'll be fine. If it's you're within 120 feet, you're going to be at disadvantage. Um, so based on where they're Definitely standing currently, is. you will be at disadvantage. Uh, let's see, what can I do with command? Um, can command, make, you can are within attack? command. Um, that's a wisdom save for them, um, and you can command them to uh, it's whatever you want to tell them. It's basically a one-word command, though. It's an order. Huh? 
It's in order. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can tell I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do that then. Okay, uh, but you can only cast it on one of them, I yep. believe. Um, well, I, I could cast it on two. If I no, if you cast it on one, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. So, uh, I'm gonna cast command on. I guess I don't roll anything. Uh, on the one most close to the bottom, so the south. Call it okay, south. this one right here. Yeah. Okay. That was a fourteen. Uh, well, it's a wisdom save for me, correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is an eight. That is a failure. Okay. Actually, that's a six. So what are you going to command it to do? Uh, betray. Ooh. I'm trying to think how that's going to work. That so basically what I did is I just rolled an rolled an intelligence check for it uh, to see if it knows what that word means. <laughs> um, so he is now going to go ahead and turn to this one and um, oh, yeah. see what happens on its turn. Um, so anything else, Carver? Nope, that is it for me. Okay, so then uh, these ones are going to start moving forward. And then before this one gets an opportunity to move forward, the other one is going to attack it. Um, it tries to attack it with its dagger, but it misses. Um, so these two are now going to start fighting each other. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> Uh, and that one misses as well. <laughs> <laughs> so then the other four that are there are going to break out their slings. Sorry, pulled that away from my mouth. Two of them will definitely miss. One of them has a modded 20, uh, and one of them has a 17. Um, so they're going to aim one at uh, one at Felder and one at Jack. Uh, but the one at Jack is going to be a disadvantage. Okay. Uh, and now it's a natural one. So that one's sling broke. Um, so then, Felder, uh, you're, you, you take three points of bludgeoning damage. Owie. This will help. Yes, gotcha. thank you. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Okay, um, so that does it for their turn. Um, however, there was other people with them. However... <sighs> They had cast invisibility on themselves before they came in, and now they're going to cast a different spell. Um, so one of them is going to let me just double. One of them is going to cast Firebolt on Carver. Uh, does a ten hit? Uh, nope. Okay. And the other one is going to um, cast Magic Missile. Um, also aiming at, because they saw what you tried to do, um, so they're going to hit you with um, uh, all three darts of the magic missile. So that is five points of damage, three points of damage, and four points of damage. And that is force damage, I believe, for magic missile. Mm -hmm. all right. So that's 12. Um, yes. I'm gonna hellish rebuke. Ooh, go girl. for it! So what do I have to do for that? They make a deck save. A, a save. Uh, oh, they have to be. Uh, don't you have to be in melee for that? No, it's within. Hellish, oh, it's within well, sixty said, feet. Yeah, you point to that. Oh, 60 feet. Yeah, you're too far away. Yeah, I think I'm too far away. So mm -hmm. never mind. Lol, Jk. Fifty-five. I mean, who was the one that hit you? It was this one right here. Oh, he's like 70 feet. Yeah, he's too far away. This is 60 feet. Then I do cool. nothing. Okay. <laughs> uh, then that means it is Felder's turn. Great. Uh, how high is the ceiling in this? Uh, I would say the ceiling is probably about good, like 40 feet up. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to. Hmm. I'm going to uh, pull out my ring of spell storing, and I'm going to cast fly on myself. 
Uh, and I'm going to just go up. Straight up? Okay. Yeah. It's an action, uh, so I get a fly speed of 60 feet. Cool. And I am at literally up against the ceiling. Cool deal. Um, I don't have my backs over there, so we'll just go ahead and continue to use that, unless you have something else that you want to use. Uh, do I you don't have another, another column? Uh, I do have another column. We can stack columns. Right here. Column stack. Columns. Oh, do, unless you have a Chessex box over there? Oh, yeah. there's Because a- that's what I was looking for, but I know that they're in my, yeah, my yeah, bag. Yeah. Yeah. How many do you want to stack? Uh, just I, probably just the one is fine. <laughs> I would say go ahead and use that one that's already clear, so that way it's yeah. Let's go. So is the is the disc up as well? Uh, no. The uh, yeah, I guess it would have followed me. So it's within like twenty feet. Bring the disc towards me. I can't uh, move it. It, it. it can't go further than twenty feet from him. Yeah. <laughs> it's when he moves twenty feet, it follows him. <laughs> so it's actually even further away from you now. <laughs> Sorry. Great. Good. I'm afraid. It's okay. <laughs> You're doing real good with the fear. Do uh, okay. the candy, do the candy, do the candy. Is that your turn? That's what I was uh, that's what I got. Okay. Um, then, Trev, you are up, my dude. Okay. Um, I am going to do what? A candy. Oh, we do have candy. There's so much candy. It is an action to eat a piece of candy, just so you know. Eat a piece of candy. Well, I'm going to try my movement first. Okay. And uh, I'm going to, again, because Trev is full of bad decisions, um, I'm going to do a long jump, a running long jump. Okay. Try to make it for that second stone. Make it for the second stone? Go um, for it. Um, it says that I can make it up to my strength if I have at least 10 feet of clearance running. Okay. Um, so I'll, that's 16 feet. Yeah, you have plenty of plenty of space um, to be able to do it. So I'm going to try to land on that second stone. Okay. So. Uh, in order to do that, I will allow you to make the jump because you do have the space to make the run, so that definitely can happen. Uh, but in order to land on the stone, I need you to make a dexterity save. Fair enough. Is the first stone not safe? You guys don't know. Okay. 18. Yeah, you're able to jump and you land successfully. Let me slide a little, a little bit. Cool, cool. Um, so that's that's what fifteen feet, and then this one is not existing. Yeah, the one in the middle is gone. Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna eat a piece of candy. <laughs> okay, candy. go ahead and uh, if you're gonna eat a piece of candy, go ahead and roll I'm a d100 for me. Just because, like, I, like, I'll just say that like I overheard Jack be like, you hear Jack and drunk and eat a piece of candy. <laughs> that's an eighty-six. Eighty-six. Um, <laughs> uh, you have now cast Mirror Image, so there's now another version of Trev just directly oh, next no. to you. <laughs> there's so there's four of them. Four versions of you see four Trevs in total, then, because ah! Mirror Image times four. three duplicates of you. Oh my god. So, so all four of us. Ah! I know what the spell is. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Yep, so Mirror Image is now cast yeah. around <laughs> you. Um, uh, uh, do I want to raise? Like, I, I, could, I have 15 more movement, so I want to attempt... <laughs> yeah, I'm attempting it. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to use my... The, oh, I, I don't have 10 feet of clearance to run. Okay. Sorry, buddy. I, I'm going to take my rope and tie it to one of my hand axes. <laughs> oh, no, it was an action to... I'll allow you to do that as a bonus action. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'll bend the rules. I'll have it ready to throw for whatever I can, unless you're allowing me to throw it. I'll allow you to throw it. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll tie the rope to my 50 foot of hempen rope and throw it towards uh, Jack. Okay, just him. go ahead and uh, uh, just make a attack roll for me. Um, <laughs> Don't kill Jack. I'm gonna no, go on my back. <laughs> it, do I add anything to it? No, no. Just, uh, just like a, a, a basic. Uh, just roll a d20. That's a five. Five. Yeah. Okay. Um, it, it's it not. A direct hit, so it's definitely a little bit off to him. Right. Um, I would say instead of like being right around his body, it's probably right around like here. five feet away. Yeah. Okay, ten four. Uh, here, I'll just put a D four there. Just like... cool. Um, all right, uh, top of the round, Jack. You are up and you are sinking. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna use five feet of movement and jump back up. Um, from pro, you don't. I mean, you're. You're you're in the in the liquid sinking right now. Okay. So is you, it a strength check? Yeah, you're going to have to make a uh, athletics check. Athletics check. Okay. Your favorite. Uh, so I have a plus goes. two to athletics, so, so it's not 
terrible. It's not the best. I mean, I'm a minus one. Five. <laughs> you <laughs> are starting to. You, you, your head is about to go under. Okay. <gasps> Hit up with a candy. Hit up with a candy. Can I reach into my mouth, like my side, and put it in a piece of candy? I mean, I, I will allow that. Yeah, sure. If you want, I'm going to die. Shouldn't, shouldn't you grab for the thing? Is it far away, the the rope? It's about five feet away from him. He didn't make a good enough throw to get it right next to him. Oh, Can okay. To it? Um, that would be an athletics check to try and swim. Yeah, that's what you try to do. Yeah. Okay, it was tr- okay. Because you're you're kind of like stuck between a, a, a mud. And a I'm gonna place. I'm gonna hold on as my face is kind of peeking out of the mud. I'm gonna go. Okay, I need someone to get me now. Okay, yeah, working on it. <laughs> okay, um, that's his turn. Uh, Carver, you are up. Okay, is there space on the second rock? Uh, yeah, it, they're wide rocks, so you would be able to um, use your movement um, to jump from rock to rock. I'm just going to move me out of the way. Yeah, so, so that we see. understand where you're at, yeah. so you're good. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Fuck. I yeah, I guess I'm going to get up next to Trev. Okay. Um, go ahead and make a dexterity save for me. Uh, that went out. Um... 18. Okay, yeah, you're able to keep your balance jumping from stone to stone. Um, so uh, you only have to make one save for each of them. Um, so yeah, you are on there. Um, I believe that technically only used about 20 feet of your movement um, to get over there based on the location. I don't know if you have the ability to try and jump further um, to try and go over the missing middle rock. Um, How many feet is that? From the edge? Yep. 15. Yeah, I don't know how much jumping speed you have. Uh, Where would that be? What do you mean? Like, like, lo- like long jump. Make, it, make a long jump. You know, it would be in your walk. You'd touch your walking, I think. T- yeah, touch your walking speed. Oh, but Did- I would need 10 feet. Ten. Well, how how long are the rocks? Ten, 10 feet. So we only have five feet of movement in front of us. Oh, okay. Okay. But he, I would say he has momentum from jumping from... Oh, yeah. Like, so if he went... So, if it, like, he'll he's an Olympian. He'll triple jump it. <laughs> okay. Then, yeah. Let me do... I'm dying. Yeah. You cover a number of feet up to your strength score. Well, does that only let me go four feet, then? No, your strength score, not your modifier. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, I can make that. That's 18 feet. Okay, so let me. Okay. I'll do athletics. Uh, sixteen. Yeah, you succeed. Uh, so you can make it to that fourth rock. Sorry, buddy. Um, and since that was your movement, if you want to go ahead and try and make a strength check to right use your action to try and pull Jack um, out of the out of the mud, you can. Yes, please. <laughs> Uh, 17. I will go ahead and give it to you. That is a success. So you, I got you, buddy. you off the rock. <laughs> um, you are now just covered in this sludge. Um, so since you're covered in this sludge, your movement's a little bit limited until you kind of get everything off. Okay. So, How uh, uh, not, not just, is a difficult terrain. Uh, just, it's, <laughs> it's a little bit cumbersome. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kind of like in a, a fetal pile, like, <clears throat> yeah. You you, uh, you you almost died. Yeah. But you did it. Okay, that all right. So that's going to be um, Carver's turn. So now those two kobolds are still going to be attacking each other. Um, Fuck yeah. They, they both hit each other. Yes. Uh, so. I hate you, dude. Um, and they didn't kill each other, but they both have stabbed each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, and let's see, the other t- other four, um, uh, well, one of them doesn't have a sling anymore because it's broken, uh, but the other three all rolled really shitty, so they were attacking at Carver and uh, Jack, and all of them missed. Good. Um, yeah. uh, so how high up did you end up going, Calder? 40 feet. I'm on the ceiling. 
40 feet on the ceiling. Yeah. Um, I remember I got 14. Here. This, Just check. this is my two rage to remind me. Fair. I don't remember stuff. No dead. Cool. Okay. Um, so the purple one uh, is going to go ahead and cast Scorching Ray. Um, so he's going to try and hit you with some Scorching Rays. Cool. Boo. Uh, does a 20 hit? Yeah. Who, who's he attacking? Uh, he's going after this, Felder. The squishy one. Felder, how are you doing right now? I'll tell you in a minute. Well, okay. I, I can, I'm going to use my reaction. Oh, no, you, uh, never mind. I was thinking Jack, sorry. Okay, so he has you, uh, he hit on two of them and missed on the other one. Um, so that's six points and seven points of fire damage. So 13 altogether. Cool. Um, and the other one is, uh, going to uh not right. is going to cast grease on the final stone oh boy i hate to be that guy what does Chris, grease do uh it just basically shot. makes it um uh That's difficult terrain so guys just one person talk oops sorry it's okay. still a concentration spell though but even though like it's not a spell slot to cast it, you're still concentrating on a spell. Okay. Like that was just one. Like I don't know that I, I've, I've never had to cast fly before, but if I was hit twice, so I'd have to make two concentration save, uh, concentration checks. To make yeah, sure if it's a fly. concentration spell, then yeah, that would be great. Yeah, I have no idea. You got a banner drawn. I do. Mm-hmm. I do. Uh, that's a eighteen. Yep. Success. That's a natural eighteen. That's a six. And that's a natural 19. Yeah, you succeed. We. I mean, you just had to get a 10, so... Yeah. <laughs> they didn't hit you hard. Um, so the, they cast Grease, so that means that fifth stone is now difficult terrain. Um, so you have to make a deck save a fuck or fall prone uh, when you enter that area. Fuck your difficult terrain. So, Miss Daisy. No, I, I understand what you can do already. <laughs> Good. <laughs> just be glad it's not my other monk. Not okay. Have have wings. Um, so that does it for the uh, the wizards. Um, so that means we are on to Felder. So uh, I'm going to look at the one that just hit me with Scorching Ray. So the purple one, yep. And I'm going to sob a little bit, and I'm going to say, well... I can chew fire too, and I'm going to cast chromatic orb. I'm going to pull a diamond out and uh, throw some fire at him. True, true, true. Cool. Thank you. you woke. That's a natural 19 for a 27. That'll hit. Cool, Jesus. cool, cool, cool. I told you, I'm a glass cannon. Uh, I need this one and this one. Oh, that's not great. That's good, though. Uh, 13 points of fire damage. 13 points? Okay. How large is chromatic one? It's small. It's a it's the size of it's a diamond. It's a diamond with uh that's worth at least fifty gold pieces. Okay. It's a four inch diameter spear. He's still standing. Diamonds are forever. Bro? Forever. Uh and actually I'm gonna use my power surge to tack three more points of force damage up to that. Okay. Suck it, bitch. Still standing though. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Oh, wizard, are you? Still standing. Um, a war cast, a war magic. Okay. Uh, any movement, or is that your turn? Uh, I'm gonna fly this way, sixty feet. Okay. Go ahead and take your movement there. Um, and we are up to Trev. It's gonna be right here. Can I make it? It's early try. Oh, one of them. Uh, I'm gonna try. Now it's two. Again, check. Like, like Trev is full of bad decisions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to like go to the little edge of that little stone as far back as I can, and I'm gonna try to run and jump and land next to uh, a dragonborn frame. Okay. Yeah. Make an athletics check. You're not raging, right? Friend. No, not okay. yet. Friend. Friend. Athletics. Yep. That's not bad. That's not bad. 18. Yeah, no, you're fine. You land successfully. 
Uh, you already passed your dexterity save. I only make you guys make that once going across the thing. Um, so your dexterity still counts. Right how how much movement would have? Would that be like ten movement? Uh, like what would that be considered? I'll say fifteen. Okay. Um, if you want to use your momentum to try and keep going, yeah, to that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, but I know. They, the grease. Yeah, so that means that you need to make a dexterity save if you're going to keep going and try to get over to the third one. Instead oh, of I, long jumping. Can I rage while I run? Wait, can I like... You can bonus action rage. Bonus yeah. action and this still be my momentum? Yeah, I'll allow that. Okay, I'll do that. I'll rage. And then, so what do I do as I'm running? You're going you're to have to make a dexterity save on the final stone. I thought, oh, wait, are you trying to jump over it or just keep running? Oh, just keep running. Oh, okay. It's just that it's, it's trapped, so... That's a 17 plus 6. Succeeds. So I make it. I'm just going to barrel through one of them, I guess. Okay. Because I can't occupy the same space as them, right? Oh, wait, there's a blank space right there. I'm being flanked. I don't care. I'm going to start swinging. Start swinging. I'm going to start swinging. He's right? going swinging. Yeah, I am. Ooh, not 17 for the first swing. That definitely hits. That'll be the one. I'll just say that's the one closer to me. That's landing in there. Oof. Nine. Thirteen for the first one. Oh, yeah. No, which he's is dead. this one. He's dead. He's very dead. He's D D dead. And then I'm going to swing to the second one. That's a nat one. That right. sure is. So as you go and swing on that, he sidesteps you, and your axe is currently stuck in the ground. Sword. Our sword is currently stuck in the ground. Sorry, your sword. character is holding an axe. Uh, no, you're you're good. Uh, so your your uh, sword is stuck in the ground, so it will take an action to unwedge it from the ground. I'm just going to keep grabbing it and just scream. <laughs> yeah, understood. All right. Yeah. Um, so that does it for your turn. Yeah. My boy Jack, it's your turn. Good up. Spit out the mud that's in my mouth. I'm going to stand up. Take my five feet. And then I'm going to yeet myself over to anyone. Literally anyone. Okay. Uh, so that's five feet to get up. And then I'm there. We're partying. I'm going to punch one in the face. And then depending on what happens, we'll see what happens. Wait, so did, did you move him out of the way? Uh, well, he said he was yeeting himself over there. So I, I, I figured that if he was doing that, he li- they, they likely would have... Uh, Abandon the space, okay. or they would have gotten hit. Okay, so it's going to happen. Something's going to happen. Uh, that's an eight plus seven. That's and fifteen. That, that hits. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. They're slippery. Slippery. Uh, that's a nine. That that'll take out the headless one. Okay, and then I'll go to the next one to my left, and I'm gonna kind of crane. Uh, Strike to the jaw. Old Vulcan neck pinch. Uh, that's natural 13 oh. plus 7. Yeah, that is. So, not a 20. <laughs> and then that's a 8. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I dislocate that one. So, I'm like... And then... And then I'm going to try to... I'm going to start swaying back and forth. And uh, how much movement was it when I when I got up there? I would say you probably used about 15 feet of movement. 15, so I'm going to use the rest of my movement. I'm going to give Trev advantage against that gentleman over there. Okay. If you can move me. Oh, got it. Right behind him. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, Um, so that does it for Jack's turn. Carver, what are we doing, boy? Oh, boy. Uh, What is the the D4? (laughs) That's my axe on a string. (laughs) Oh, that's right. I need to pull it towards me. That was going to be my next thing. Okay. Um... So I'm going to try to get onto the mainland as well. Okay. So um, you got to make a dexterity save because of the greased rock. Mm, okay. Unless I can do a running jump. Uh, uh, I mean, you can certainly try an athletics check. But, well, but it, I have enough space. Oh, no, you mm. really don't have enough space. Okay. What is it? Dex? Dex save, yeah. Uh, 13. Ooh, that was the save. Okay. Uh, so you, you're able to stay on your feet on that rock, and then you can go ahead and continue your movement. Okay, so if I'm... Yeah, move me onto the land. And then how how much movement do I have now? 
Um, so I would say you probably used 15 feet, so you probably have yeah. whatever your remaining One, movement is. One, two, three. Okay, 15's not enough. Uh, I'm just going to attack this one. The one directly next to the other guys? Yeah. Cool, go for it. Uh, do I get advantage? Uh, no, technically, because you're not, not flanked. Yeah, or, uh, and you guys don't have pack tactics. Yeah, sure. yeah. Um, okay. Nat 20? Yeah, that'll that that. You know what? Don't even roll. I'm just gonna go ahead and get. Well, I wanna I wanna hit him like a baseball into the other kobold. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll, allow that. Uh, roll a d. Uh, roll a d4 for me. D4. I've got a one. You got a one. And what's your um, what's your what's your uh distance? Uh, that's usually dexterity, right? My distance. It all depends on the weapon. Yeah, that's what for this strength three. probably for a hammer. No, it's not going to be a hammer. That's going since he's going to be baseballing it, and it's got to hit him. Uh, what's your dexterity It'd modifier? Finesse, yeah, uh, zero. Zero. Okay, so you completely clear its head off, and it hits the other kobold wizard in the head and does one damage. <laughs> I'll one. take it. It's one psychic damage as he's like. Terrified of his friend's head. I can remember. Sure. Evan, you're always so weird. All right, so Carver, yeah. uh, does that do it for your turn? Not quite. Uh, I'm going to move another t uh, like 10 feet. So okay. right next to um, uh, Trev. Yep. And then shoot with my sling. Sh my sling. Okay. Uh, modded 20? Yeah. Yeah. Just broke all the things. I'm breaking everything. Uh, that does two damage. We're all doing that today. Two plus... Oh, yeah, you don't have a dexterity modifier? Nope, just two. I want to see... Do I have any... any? What about Branding Smite? Ooh. Girl. Extra 2d6 radiant damage. A brand smite? Oh, I don't have a regular smite. I guess a cobalt? I, it, yeah. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, just just a little little sling. Weapon too. Can't you, don't use can I what? <laughs> Correct. Yeah. I think you can only smite with a melee weapon. Yes. Yeah, I'm um, going to go ahead and uh, give that to the paladin on, on this one. Yeah, I don't, I don't have regular smite anyway. I mean, they're all... They all. It has to be a melee weapon. Oh, really? I think, like, yeah, I don't think you can like distance smite. No, you can't. It, ju it, does, it just does weapon attack. Oh. For raffle? Uh, branding smite, yeah. For branding, it might be. But I would save that regardless. I'm not going to do it, but I... Yeah. yeah don't to worry about it. Gotcha. Okay, well, in that case, it's the two kobolds that are still currently hating each other, Stern. Cool. Um, and... The one that you told to betray hits, and now it finally kills the one other one. Um, so you got the one that you told to betray to hit, and then it's going to start going towards this one. I love this guy. <laughs> oh, um, it He's is the now Zach. the wizard's turns. Yeah. He's the new Zach. No. He is R.I.P. Zach. Baby Steve. Zachary, I love you. Um, okay, so... This one hasn't used its other second level spell yet. Um, so it's going to cast Scorching Ray, and it's going to cast that at uh, at Trev, because Trev came in and did a lot of damage. Um, so it's going to go for Trev. So let me go ahead and roll all three at the same time. No. Um, <laughs> no. So one of them misses, but does a, um, does a 22 hit? No. Does a natural twenty hit? No. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my uh, reaction to use protection. Ooh. Which while while wielding yeah, while wielding a shield and a creature you can see attacks a target other than you within five feet, you can use your reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll. Is that only on one of them? Um, one I only attack. have one reaction, so. I think one one attack roll. It says on the attack roll, yeah. So I don't know. So I'm assuming it was the natural 20 that yes. you're using it on. <laughs> okay, so I'll go ahead and re-roll the natural 20, and that one misses now. Yes. Um, so oh, you're still going to go nice. ahead and take I'm not raging. nine points of fire damage. All right. Um, and the other one, which is barely alive, um, is going I'm alive, to... <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive, Brendan. <laughs> 
going to move forward because it knows that it doesn't have much time left, and it is going to cast Burning Hands. Ooh. So uh, go okay. ahead and make a uh, what is that a deck save? Mm-hmm. Who's that against? Um, it's a fifteen foot cone. Oh, God. so I think that's going to catch all three, y'all boys. Mother. Mm. Well, actually, wish I was a Dragonborns. Yeah, no, I would catch all three of you. Great. You said deck save. Which way is the cone going? So Diagonal. one. Actually, no. It would just miss. Uh, it would just miss Jack. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Ah! Kind of so like it's on Trev and Carver. You said uh, Dex. Dex save, yeah. And you also get plus three. Oh, okay. That works. Uh, Seventeen. Thirteen. Thirteen. Ooh, barely saved. So you guys get half. Um, I have a question, DM. Does sure. Josh get a quarter because it's fire damage? Yes, he will. Hell yeah. Um, so that's 12 points of damage, so half to six or half to three. I sort of raise. Get it, girl. Hell yeah. There's no point raising now. You go, girl. I'm Back a dragon. Down. I'm surprised <laughs> none of you have played a dragonborn at this point. Honestly, dude, I, that was so many. I've made multiple dragonborns that I just haven't played. Um, I've played a black and white dragonborn before. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, Watch so it. that's the Wizards Felder. What are we doing, man? Um... I'm going to fly. Uh, 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 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm dead. <laughs> 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And everyone's dead. Uh, You're clinging to the wall. Yeah. I'm going to be right here. And. Smite them all, my I'm smite. going to. Look at the man in front of me, and I'm going to chromatic all this one. Damn, how many diamonds are you carrying, dog? Uh, it's the same diamond. It well, consume. it's a material well, component, so it uses the diamond. It doesn't. Cons- it'll. Some spells say that it consumes. Oh, some okay. spells say that it doesn't consume. Uh, yeah, it's just a sphere of energy. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's um, more so me double checking. Like a revivify consumes. Consumes, yeah. That's why I thought that. Natural one. Ooh. You yeet it into the mud. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. I'm going to yeet this yeast. Cool. Well, that means we are on Trev's turn. Oh, hell yeah. Trev is pissed. I'm not going to rage just because I'm not going to waste it. But I'm going to... Um, <clears throat> what would it be for me to pull that string and bring that axe back to me? Um, I'll let you do it as a bonus action. Then I, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull that thing towards me as a bonus action and take both axes and go after Cobalt over here with the purple robes. Cool, cool, cool. Go ahead and make a make an attack. He hurt me bad. Ooh, that's no first one eight. That misses. Second one better seventeen. That'll hit. That'll be. It's dead. <laughs> no, he, was on one, he was on one hit point. Great. Uh, oh, he's dead. And then Gross. I'm gonna go back to my sword, which I just put me back in the space that I was because I still have to pull it out of the ground, and I'll just wait there because I have to wait to pull it out of the ground. Yep. That's it. Okay, so that means we are on Jack. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn to which one is in our ally? The blue one. The blue one. Yeah, the 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 uh, the the regular kobold is the one who was causing uh, w- was listening to the commands. So I'm gonna yell in draconic. What did you do to Milton? And I'm gonna start running over to him. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm gonna punch him in the face before he can respond to me in draconic. You punch first, you ask questions after, right? I agree with that statement. I think you technically asked the question and then just started punching before yeah, you had the chance to respond, but go for it. Did yeah, you start talking. <laughs> you can speak with Ted. That's fine. Mm. Uh, that's a, a one for and the first. That, that misses, and you well, you, you biff it. I so like, it. you just kind of like completely overrun him trying to do a running punch, okay. uh, and, and, and you hit the wall. Go ahead and roll a d4 for me. A d4? Yeah. Okay. First d4 of the night. Uh, I got a three. Uh, you take three points of bludgeoning damage as you hit your head into the wall. Two, three. Wow. I'm going to use that momentum, though, and then I'm going to... Headbutt him in the dick. What? what? <laughs> That's a really low headbutt. They're <laughs> short. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually just going to headbutt him in the head. Okay. 
Uh, and I'm going to roll my second attack. You're going to bounce your head off the wall. Into okay, his head. that is a 11. That misses. Misses. Yeah. So I missed. Uh, I'm going to hit, because uh, I missed again with my hit, I'm going to bring and cast a key point for a flurry of blows with my heal. Okay, so go ahead and that's two more attacks. Yep. Come on! You're rolling so bad. I didn't no. get the second one. And then uh, does a uh, a 15? Yes, 15 hey, on it. Christ. Okay, <laughs> I got the 15 with my other heal. So second heal biffs it, and then or the first heal biffs it, second heal is going to make contact. Uh, that is a 13. 13 points of damage? Yes. Cool. It's still standing. Okay, I'm just going to crack with, like, I'm doing a handstand and I'm like... Okay. As pff, one of the heel hits, and then I'm just kind of sleeping handstanding. <laughs> Wasted. Chocolate. Cool. So is that your turn? Uh, you know what? Because I used Flurry of Blows, I'm going to pump off and kind of kick flip up, and then I'm going to move back 10 feet. Okay. So. All right. Uh, Carver, you are up, my dude. Okay. Uh, can I make it to... The other one? The not my friend? 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Barely. Right. Barely. Me and Carl. All right. Uh, no, not me and Carl. What? I said I hate being Carver. I mean. <laughs> I'm going to take the hammer and just smack him over the head. Go for it. Take a whack. Murder. Maybe. Uh, modded 20. That'll hit. Okay. I don't even what what does it do? D eight, okay. Uh seven plus four. So eleven. That that is enough to go ahead and take him out. Um so that one is gone, and now all that you have left is the buddy that you commanded who has got like two hit points. He's confused. I don't want to kill him. So can I I can't grapple because I did attack, right? Correct. Uh I can't I can't hold my action. Um, you already used an action. I have a yeah. question. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Josh, do you have a second action? I have a second attack. Can you do like non lethal damage on him and knock him out? <clears throat> Can I? You just have to announce it. What's your. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to do non lethal damage and you want to state that, I, I guess I'll, I'll allow that you could punch him and it'll probably just kind of knock him out a little bit. Ew. Um. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so just roll an attack. Make sure that you don't whiff. Uh, and modded 21. Yeah, no, okay. So he is non-lethal damage. He's he's in a haze right now. He's got the little duckies flying around his head with stars. and not, It's like cartoony. He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> are we out of initiative? You guys are now out of initiative. I'm going to kiss his forehead as he goes night-night. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to... Good fly. night, sweet prince. Fly your way over. Join everyone. It only lasts for ten minutes. So. You princes of Maine. You kings of England. Cool, cool, cool. That was dope using fly. I'm gonna pull the sword, the sword out of the ground and give it a hug. <laughs> and say sorry. <laughs> sorry, sword. I love you. I love you. Lay, lay on hands can bring someone back from death, right? Um, I with with this, I wouldn't say that he's dead. He's just not. No, I, I know, but but were he to die? Is it someone I can bring back? Yeah, yeah. Okay. From being unconscious. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not like if I kill, kill him, but. Yeah. Okay. So, how's everyone feeling? I could use a rest. Do you uh, have more alcohol? No. Mm. Now, what kind of rest are we talking about? Because, listen, I know we've traversed not very long. But I can make an impenetrable dome. So if we wanted to really like traverse this at full strength, we could very much do that. Are you saying I, from what I understand, we don't really have a time limit into when this dead guy's amulet needs to be back. <laughs> well, we don't know that the other one's dead. Yeah, that's true. You don't know that he's dead. That's true. Um, Hold on. I have... I have some some Astroglide that I can <laughs> use to heal us up. 
That sounds... Okay. Sassy, I know. <laughs> I can also... I mean, if so, we take a rest, I can heal myself. I'm just saying for the... For the slots... My ability to cast spells is what I'm concerned about. Those guys are spells. They're puted in that? I don't, I, I don't know. I want to get this guy back alive, and I think the longer we wait, the more likely it is that he's dead. Okay. Then, never mind. If we want to take a short rest, I'm okay with that as well. Yeah. You guys can definitely take a short rest. There's no, uh, no, no impending th- threats within this room right now. Um, do I hit dice then? Same. Yeah, so if you guys want to take a half hour, you can. Before before we do that, I want to tie up Carl. Oh, Carl! Carl. What's my hit die? A d12? Yeah, you, are, you should be a d12. I never used them, so I don't know. Ooh, a 10. Isn't that fancy? Six. Six. Well. Six. One. Uh, and then DM, I'm just going to keep my buzz going. Yeah, go ahead. So whatever I got going, I'm just going to... Take top, a swig. Top, top. I'm going to take a swig from the jug, but I won't take the benefits from it. Yeah, well, you already okay. took the benefits from it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can't double take the benefits from it, from what I understand. Exactly. So I'll just pour whatever water I have, and I'll turn it to alcohol, and I'll just keep my Yeah. Okay. So keep yourself coherent. Exactly. <laughs> keep myself co- coherent. I don't want to be belligerent and sober. Okay. Um, so uh, throughout the, the time spent on your short rest... Um, You've obviously taken out the kobolds. You guys have currently healed, um, healed a little bit here and there. Um, if you would like, you can go ahead and I mean, I, I feel like you've kind of tied up Carl in the hopes to try and get some information out of him. So if you want to go ahead and do that, you can. Who's good at intimidating? Me. Me. Uh, I mean, I don't want to be modest. I'm also me. pretty good at it. I'm plus six. Oh, not me. I'm not plus six. That's a weird way of describing things. (laughs) (laughs) All right, I got this. I mean, you're the leader. You got it. Is he awake? Uh, I would say, yeah, towards the end of your short rest, he's awake. All right, Mike, you want to switch the camera back to you so you can play Carl? Carl. 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 Get in the house. Hi, everybody. It's back to me. Hey, Um, Carl. Hey, my name's Carl. Oh, God. Oh, no, I hate what? him. No, that's not how it's going to Can I kill him? No, because he doesn't actually have a name. Um, so. So he's. Uh, does, do, do Cobalt speak common or Draconic? Um, not well, but yes. Do, but they speak Draconic better? They, they speak both, but they're, they're not smart, so they're, they're, their speaking in general just is not great. Okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna in draconic I'm gonna say guide us to the the dwarf that you guys captured or I will kill you now. Dwarf dead The other dwarf. There is no other dwarf dead I'm gonna say in draconic he means the human, dude. Say the human. Uh, the human. And then he <laughs> spits I, on you. He's like, I'm not peek nowhere. I punch him to death. To death. <laughs> Roll an attack. Uh, twenty-four. Yeah, no, he's definitely dead. You Carl, de- no. I I cast lay on hands to bring him back one. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will do that again if you do not help us. I'm gonna lay down behind, like on the ground behind them, and just keep throwing fire bolts into the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, and he's gonna be like, "I take you nowhere." I kill him again. Say he sh- he rocked your shit, dude. He's gonna rock it again. I kill him again. <laughs> Roll an attack. Uh, modded twenty. Okay. And I pump lay on hands. Cool. Guide us to the human we need. Know where they are. Insight. Sure, go ahead and roll. Do speak Draconic. Yeah, oh. they are talking in Draconic. Oh, then never mind. He I doesn't know, know where they are. are. are, are we, I, I was just trying to do. Say to him, he doesn't know where they are. He like genuinely doesn't. I, I don't know. Um, uh, is that? Can I roll insight? Sure, on that? go ahead. Uh, 
14. Uh, I mean, it based on what he's saying, he still has a pretty angry tone, so you can't necessarily tell if he's telling the truth. Oh, he's but lying. he also doesn't seem like the kind of person that would be in the know. He's lying. Okay. Do you know the layout of this cave? Uh, there's a, you're about to come to a, a, a crossroads, kind of. And where do those crossroads go? Uh, two, one goes forward, one goes left, one goes right, one goes back here, stupid. I pick him up so that he's at my height. And, eh. I, and I just get him really close to my face. Eh. And I spit on him. <laughs> oh. And then uh. I say... Where do they go to? And then I, he spits back and he goes, wherever they want. All right, I kill him. <laughs> For <the> leader. <laughs> I can keep bringing him back. Uh, that was a 12 plus 7, 19. That hits, yeah. No, he's okay. dead. Well, he's still tied up on the rope, so I'm going to put him on my, on my back. Maybe, okay. Can we maybe try, like... A different form of interrogation? What other forms are there? Uh, I mean, instead of just murdering him with your hands, couldn't you, like, put his head into the water that is deep and thick and gross and, and like, pull his head out and, and do it again? Sorry, I, I saw it in, in this play once, and it seemed to work. No, it's okay, Felder. It's not water, it's mud. But I know you're not the smartest one. You can still drown in mud. You almost did, remember? He's not wrong. Minor details. <laughs> All right, well, do you guys want to try? Otherwise, I'm just going to carry him with us until we find some water to do Felder's suggestion. Well, I, I, I think after six seconds, he's going to be dead dead. Oh, is that how that works? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like, out of game, like... It's like when we go yeah. unconscious, we do death saving throws. It'd be like the equivalent of them. So every six seconds, he would have to do a death saving throw. Um, and you're bringing him back from unconsciousness, potential death. Mm -hmm. if that okay. First one is a failure. What's that? First one's a failure. So. Okay. What do you guys want to do? Do we trust him? Do we trust to bring him with us? I don't trust any of them. Do you think he, maybe he knows where the leader is? I'll bring him back. Bitch in charge. He brings I, him back. I, pump, I, I pump one more lay on hands. Okay. I'm going to ask, where's the HBIC? Who's the IBHC? Who's the head bitch in charge here? Me. You're the leader? Insight. <laughs> <laughs> I hear him say, you're the leader? Uh, 15. I mean... He's pretty stupid, but he's just like, you see anybody else in this room? No, but there's other rooms. Who's the head in charge of the other room? Well, so I lead this room. Okay, who leads the all of you? Who told you to go to this room? Me. My guy, I'm trying to <laughs> save you here. Listen to me. Is there like a bigger one of you? This is my room. I will die for the honor of Tiamat. And what is your name? Mm. Carl. All right, Carl, you're going to die for Tiamat. And I'm going to say, like, all right. Go ahead and roll your attack. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm, ta I'm telling Carver what's up. <laughs> Am I killing him? Yeah, I'm like, what's good, dude? All right. Fling him into the mud. Yeah, Heat actually, I like that mud. better. Yeah, <laughs> I throw him into the mud. So that's still um, make, make a, 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 a strength check. F 15? Yeah, no, he's yeeted. <laughs> he just starts <laughs> stepping him to the ground. Did he, how did he land? Um, head first. Head first? Okay. Well, uh, that's that. Bye, Carl, you bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to hear that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's keep moving on. Yeah, so that with, with, with that, you guys have uh, kind of reached your cross. You know, you're, are we going to start now moving out of this room? Towards uh, I expend another slot, just so you know, from my... Um, my ring. I, I cast a false life, which gave me seven temporary hit points. Oh, okay. Cool deal. That will work. 
It's uh, necrotic, so I'm spoopy now. Spoopy. Ooh, spoopy. Too spoopy. Happy Hashtag Halloween. <laughs> As we're walking, Father's just going to be like, guys, I don't, I don't know why, but my sleeves just keep getting bigger. <laughs> What's going on? Everything just fits way loose. I think I'm losing weight. Yeah, no, you're getting like really thin. Oh, you should eat more. No, he's doing like push-ups and so you're doing the you're doing the exercises I told you, right? I can do three girl push-ups, and I'm gonna get down and try and do three girl push-ups. Does he Look succeed? At that. Wow! Uh, Make an athletics check. <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely girly. <laughs> That must be it. Definitely girly, debatably push ups. I'm going okay, to look at Carver right in the eye. I'm like, definitely that. <laughs> Only that. Only. Um, okay. So, guys, you get to this crossroads. Uh, the low tunnel comes out to a crossroads. The dirt floor slopes away to the north. So, basically, uh, the one that's going north it seems like it's sloping upward. Um, the other one uh, to the uh, south. Uh, it basically kind of looks like it's going back towards where you, like, obviously towards the main room that you came. Um, so if knowing where you guys were previously, you would think that that might lead towards an area that would go back towards the main room, maybe where that world bridge was at. Mm -hmm. Um, and the other, uh, the one heading to the east, uh, it's just a little bit dark down that way. Uh, you kind of can't really tell where it goes without traveling further. I'm going to send Hootie. Send Hootie? Can you turn Um, the map back on too? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Which way are you sending him? Uh, north. I'm going to listen towards the south. So the, the north one is, is, is sloped back? Sloped up. Sloped up. Sloped up, so conceivably to where we came from? Correct. Okay. The, the north is the, the south is that way. No, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. The south one uh, going this way is the one that looks like it would be going back towards um, the main room that you might have come from be- before is what you can tell. And the one that's heading north up this way, um, you would think for the most part that that is probably, uh, that, that one's heading upwards um, at a pretty steep slope. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to send Hootie north. I'm going to send Hootie north? Yeah. I'm okay. Put my arm, my hand on Jack's shoulder. And as I'm like phasing into Hootie, I'm like, wow, oh, I'm so really tired. Oh, he's doing so many push-ups. Um, are I'm you guys so going to stay in this position, or are you going to go kind of like towards the bottom? I'm going to stay wherever everybody else is. I'm in the back. Okay. I'm going to take a couple steps forward and listen to the east. Listen to the east? Yeah. Um, okay. And I'll say Carver's yeah. probably like, right there with you. Yeah. What's your perception? Uh, 10 for Hootie. Okay. Um, and then can you also... Um, Make a great. make a stealth check for Hootie as well. Oh, he's kind of good with those, I think. And you said it was an eleven, a ten. Ten. Okay. Oh wait, this is fly. That's not Hootie. This is Hootie. <laughs> uh, stealth is plus three. Keen sight and hearing. Fly by. He doesn't provoke opportunity attacks when he flies out of an enemy's reach. Okay. As well. Cool. Cool. Good so, to know. Thank you. Stealth. Oh, stealth's an eighteen. Okay, um, that's definitely good. Um, perception, you said, was 10? Yeah, that's um, great. As you start to fly up, he... Um, I would say that he notices all the way up at the top, there are a group of six kobolds, um, and it looks like they have... Like, they're scheming, but it wasn't something that you can really... St- understand what it was that they might have been scheming. Uh, Would I understand distance, like how far? So I can uh, telepathically communicate with him within 100 feet. Mm -hmm. Is he within that range still, or is he further than that? Yeah, I would say yes. Okay. Um, So I'm going to say this to the group. Do they look like they're robed, or do they look like just the little shitty kobolds? The little regular ones. Okay. So I'll convey that to the group. Uh, I'm going to try and fly him over into a more advantageous position to be able to, like, see what they're, if there's, like, something around them or anything like that. Okay, I'll go ahead and make another perception check for me. Actually, no, it'll be an investigation check. Okay. Then let me figure out what that would be for him. What was the base roll? Investigation is... Which one's investigation? It's off of intelligence. intelligence. Oh, God, that's going to be so bad. He's a minus four. 
Okay, all right. That's a natural one. Can't can't tell what's around them, but so there's three. But there's something around them that they're scheming about. But he has no idea what it is. Cool. cool. He just knows that there's something there. Bird brain. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Listening to the east, by the way, was a twelve perception. Twelve perception. Mm-hmm. Um, you definitely hear some noise coming from over there. It doesn't necessarily sound like a cobalt. Can I listen to the east as well? Sure. Um, I'll allow you. Uh, that was perception. Yeah. Uh, twenty-four. Jesus Christ! Christ. What is what? your? The fuck is your perception? My it's wisdom. Plus it's six. Wisdom. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. It sounds far off, but it sounds like there's like the sound of metal armor, which, based off these kobolds, they haven't been wearing anything that sounds other than like basically cardboardish. So. <laughs> Um, it does. It definitely doesn't sound like there would be a, there. There's a kobold off that way, but that that's the most that you can make of it. Okay, uh, I relay that to the group um, guys. I, it's it sounds like metal over there. <gasps> HBIC. It could be the HBIC. Let's go. What did did Felder already relay the stuff to us? Mm-hmm. I'm still I'm still in hootie to be oh, okay. fair. I'm hearing none of this. Okay. So, do we want to get rid of like the small fries, or do we want to go for the big fries and then the small fries join the big fries? Are you some- the dude back alive? That's two thousand gold. Was- being a bird is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I have a follow up question. After this, can we get fries? Yes, we can get fries <laughs> if we have the gold. Birds are just so majestic. Stop talking about birds. I know you can't hear me, but who do you once watch me jerk it? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if you've seen me do it or it was he probably, relayed it. He was probably watching you the whole time. I, I mean, he has those eyes. So, I, I mean, he was sleeping. So I don't know if they, like, talked about it. Like, I don't speak bird. Was he sleeping or was he pretending to sleep? I don't know. I don't eyes. know. I don't. All right. can't hear me now. Booty is so cute and innocent. <laughs> oh, and I'll snap back. All right. Well, I think, uh. I think we should find out what they're scheming. I don't think the HBIC is going to leave. What about the HBIC? Oh, what? that's right. You were warging. Yes. Uh, so there's there's metal. I hear metal. Sounds like armor. And I haven't seen a single cobalt with armor. <gasps> what if we asked Hootie to see what the HBIC looks like? I could. How does he have the best ideas? That way. It's because I'm shit face drunk, dudes. I mean, I was going to say it, too. He just said it. But it's okay. Yeah, it's not... but he's he's the smart one here. I'm so smart. This Me, is, too. This is helpful. Go ahead and send Hootie. Yeah, while yeah, you do that, uh, I'm going to find a corner in that area and use the bathroom. <laughs> but for real. I was going to say, if you want to leave your headphones on, on real life. Dragonborn dick. <clears throat> so, basically, when Hootie flies down that way. Advantage. <gasps> yes. When Hootie flies down that way, um, he does hit a wall and it veers off to the uh, to the south, mm. um, towards where you would like as Hootie you would conceive that that probably also goes back towards the main room, mm-hmm. but obviously toward the area that was blocked off. Oh. Mm-hmm. So um, he rolled a nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Yeah. So on his way down there, he uh, before he gets to where the noise is. Um, what happened was uh, you see like kind of a little crack in the wall that it looks like only kobolds could fit through. Mm-hmm. Um, but then he gets all the way down to the end um, and he does see a uh, dragonborn in full armor who's trying to dig his way out. It looks like he might have been, um, it, you would almost conceive that he might have been in there at the same time as the silver sables and then what, or, or the, the sable spears. Um, and when that debris crashed, it trapped him. Um, so he didn't get hit by it, but now he got stuck inside the crater. Mm-hmm. So you can kind of conceive that based on how good of a roll you have. Okay. Um, I'll say that to everyone. Um, and I'm just, I'm going to have Hootie kind of go up to him and kind of stand in front of him and just look at him. What do you do? Um, Hootie's not trying to be stealthy? Um, give me two seconds here. Render foe. <laughs> Gonna find out real Stay fast. This. 
hostage business. Is his armor like similar to the kobolds? You think like Erling insignias? You think he's uh? What kind of dragonborn is he? What color? Uh, hold, hold, please, hold, please. Oh, it's still on the one that I when I played Carlos's, even though I updated him so that way. Uh... What? No, um, my my tablet. Oh, got it. Fun fact: now that you said state your business, so like we were, I was looking at the recap and everything. Yeah. Like you, you said, it was. So I like it was I to the group it was state your business, mm-hmm. but it wasn't my first line in the campaign because I talked to Strahd first. You did talk to Strahd first. I don't remember what the hell I said. But... I have it. It's like, what do you want? Or hold on. so he is a um, uh, a gold up. dragonborn. Cool, cool, cool. Um, the gold dragon, the gold dragon born, gold, gold, gold. and oh he's God, wearing uh, he's wearing chainmail. Blood. Hmm. Do I like a uh, insignia or a symbol anywhere? No, and he kind of uh, make uh, I'll make another investigation check. <laughs> it's his twin. Oh, natural twenty. Um, no, uh, the there's no markings whatsoever on his armor. It almost looks like this guy might be kind of like a, a lone wolf trying to go in and save. Um, like say face or scavenge. Mm, does he look trustworthy? Uh, I mean, he's very inquisitive right now towards Hootie, um, and like is almost in fact gesturing like the mirror, like kind of like trying to hold out his arm. I'll have him like hop over to him and stuff, yeah. and he's just like, <clears throat> "How the fuck did now we'll get in here?" And then I'm gonna have him disappear. Oh. <laughs> And you just you you guys just kind of hear shit because he doesn't want to be loud. Um. So there's another dragonborn that way uh, to the east. A, uh, a dragonborn. <gasps> yeah, he kind of looks like you. <gasps> like yep. all the way out here. Uh, I mean, huh? That's what I saw in my bird. Uh, uh, DM, would I would I potentially know him? Um, I think you and I did have a discussion about this. You do have a brother. Um, so. Keep shrugging. You, 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 you might know it. All right. I hear. So knowing that I have a brother, uh, I'm just going to start walking that way. Oh, so we're walking now. Okay. But like I'll pr- hastily, a little too hastily. Just like a excitement. Uh, traps? Oh, uh, you know? A uh, trap? No? Okay. All right. No, he's just walking. Yeah. Uh, there's a crack where only kobolds can get through. <clears throat> okay. Um. So you're 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 just booking it. Uh. What I've what I, I probably what I've heard. Of what Felder just said. Yeah. You you would have heard and acknowledged the fact that like kind of like probably I would say you probably would have put a hand up like got it about the crack um, that only kobolds can get through. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I guess you I'll tell- want to try and make a stealth check when you get into that area because you will be able to see it. So, well, if I, I mean, can I legitimately not get through it at all? No, 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 no. It's like a crack in the side of the wall that only kobolds can fit through. Um, it's, it's like how- an ambush situation. Yeah, oh, so oh. there's a possibility that they could maybe try and run through that to get you. Um, oh, okay. But you, you don't. That's why I was saying, like, you, if you want to make a stealth to try and get past that area when you see that. I follow him, by the way. I ain't gonna let him go by himself. Okay. Yeah, when I hear Felder say that, I, I wave my hand and say, then follow me, and keep going. And then when I get to the crack, I would stealth. But I don't... That's stupid. This feels silly. I mean, we'll stay in the, the hallway by where the, the kobolds are. Where are the schemers? The schemers. We're going to okay. stay close to the schemers. Okay, we're splitting the party. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that was a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> it never goes poorly. No. <laughs> cool. Okay. So then, um, if uh, Trev and uh, Trev and Carver, if you guys want to go ahead and make a stealth check to try and get past that uh, hole in the wall as you round the corner and start heading south. Trev dies. Oh, six. Fifteen. Uh, okay. Um, as they're like going, um. Do I want to do that yet? I don't know if I want to do that yet. I was going to do a magic circle. Or, or no, I'm going to start uh, working on Liam's tiny hut. Okay. You're making the house now, dude? Yeah. I mean, just to keep stuff out if we get, like, if we get ramrodded from both sides. Car ramrod. 
Um, so you guys are going to see more of the map than you need to. But Ooh. it's not even, yeah. So Ooh. I see stuff. Um, so you guys are coming down this road. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um, what do we not need this part? Yeah. No, I'll just do that. Cool. Cool, cool, <laughs> cool, cool. cool. Um, <laughs> sweet deal. Uh, so you guys are right around here. Um, and I'll say that based on your average, I'll give you, I'll round up and give you an average of an 11 on your stealth. So you guys make it past. And down in the corner. That's why that guy looks so much like it. Oh my god. Because he's the same. Because they get the same. And <clears throat> you get all the way down there and you just hear Carver, is that you? Brother. <laughs> what, what are you doing here? Uh, man, uh, it's been. Uh, I wish I could explain it. Uh, and then he goes up to Trev. He's like, hi, my name is Nezus. I'm Trev. And he's like, so I was in here just trying to trying to find some of the gold because I found out that apparently they're like worshiping Tiamat or some shit in here. I heard. Yeah, and uh, so I just wanted to try and get anything that I could away from these little shitty fuckers. Um, and uh, in the process of doing that, there was some battle in the main main chamber when you come in. I kind of got trapped in here, so... I've pretty much just been laying low, trying to make sure that nothing gets near me. Well, come with us. We're here to to rescue some. It must be that battle. Uh, we're we're here to rescue some human, and we have a, a reward waiting for us. I mean, I did see uh, a human get taken off with them after that battle. I saw them kind of just drag him off. I I don't know if he's alive still, but we could certainly try. Is it just the two of you? No, we have two more back, but they were too cowardly to follow. Well, oh, this place is full of tricks and some bullshit, so I don't blame them. All right, well, um, around the corner, there's a little bit of a little bit of an area that they kind of like to sneak through, so that way they can ambush people on the other side of it. So let's try and sneak our way back around if we're heading heading north. Let's do it, and I. I, like, I do that, that Roman hand thing. Gotcha. Hand so, shake, and say, it's, it's great to see you. It's good to see you too, brother. It's been too long. We're just sitting in the dome. Having a good time. Fair enough. Okay, so that means the three of us are going to be making stealth checks. Uh, Nezis rolls an 18. 11. 21. Cool. All right, yeah, no, they don't even fucking notice anybody there. So we'll head back that way, and which means we'll head back to the crossroads where you guys are currently hutting it up. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> All right, so you guys have a ride back. You guys are hiding in the hut, but they can see you in there? Is that uh, no, it's opaque, actually. Okay. So they cannot see inside. So, do we know what it is? You guys just kind of see a blob. Uh, Felder. Yes. Are, are you in there? Yes. What are you doing? Sitting. Are you? Can ready to come, come out? What? You can come in. Oh, there's a door? Uh, just walk straight. And he's not going to be able to get through. So. <laughs> I will try to walk through. Okay, now you can come through. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh-huh. Okay, I try to walk through. He can do it. <laughs> <laughs> say, the, say the password, Carver. The password. Mm. Is that the password? I don't think that's the password. It's not the oh, password, dude. Password. Oh, you, do you see what I've been dealing with? Yeah, what the fuck kind of kids you hanging out with, boy? Get out here. Why? Because we no, found... No, you're gonna yell. I'm not... I'm yelling now. <laughs> you're gonna yell louder. Guys, guys, guys. There's kobolds still swimming over this place. You guys need to keep it the fuck down. You're gonna yell. 
and many of the kobolds are gonna come. Oh my god, get so out of there. Like Sounds just like his dad. I feel like your dad. <laughs> I'm gonna walk out of the out of the dome. It's our clubhouse. You can't come in. Well, if you walk out of it, it dispels. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> be like back here, like, oh. <laughs> hey, there's two of you now. Pull your pants up. Oh, no, I don't know which one's which. <laughs> my pants are so up right now, my guy. <laughs> my guy. This is my and brother, Nezus. And uh, <clears throat> Nezus is going to walk on over. He's going to be like, name's Nezus, and then goes and picks you up <laughs> by a handshake. Okay. Got it, George Washington. Man, you, uh, you've been hitting the bush a little early today, huh? Oh, no, I don't smoke. Okay. <laughs> bush, natty, whatever, man. <laughs> kind of. Well. And then he does the same thing. He goes, Nezus. Hi. Yeah, so kind of last thing I expected to see in here was my brother, who I probably haven't seen in about four or five years, so... Don't touch my owl. What? I was very confused as to an owl, so I invited it to pop up on my arm. He's mine. Okay. Yeah, don't well, touch his owl. You can have your owl. What's his, touch my owl. What's his name? Booty. Booby. Because it sounds like booby. <laughs> okay. That's kind of funny. I'll keep that. Hey! He's a lot cooler than you are, Carver. Can we have him hang out oh with us? Oh, my God. It's There's a yeah. cobalt this way. Thank you, Trev. Yeah. Okay, so you said there's kobolds up there? Yeah, there's like six of them. Six of them, okay. Oh, yeah. My owl found out. Don't touch it. It's not for you. I, I'm not trying to touch your owl. What did he see up there with the kobolds? Do they have anything? Are they trying to... They're like scheming, right? Scheming? Doing kobold stuff? Dancing? <sighs> oh, shit. Okay. Could be a piece of poop. It might be poop. I've heard, I've heard some loud bangs in that area. I'm willing to think that they're that probably, be. especially seeing that it's uphill, they're probably going to try and throw something down at us. That's what I'm thinking. It's probably poop. What do they throw, usually? I mean, is it poop? if they see someone that's probably trying to come up there, I think they'd probably try and roll a boulder down if they had one. Whoa, like a whole rock? Like, they can move that? I mean, if there's six of them, they can all work together to push it. Well, George Washington and Carver, you guys can, like, punch through that, right? Uh... You ever tried to punch a fucking boulder? No, I'm not strong. Yeah, no, it hurts. You can't do that. Um, shit. Let me see here what I can do. Uh, I have a backpack. <coughs> What's Does in the back? Help? I don't know. Nothing. Uh, uh, behind us, while we're all standing around, uh, can I make my way a little bit down the tunnel, like before I get we get to like that crevice? And I just pull this silver strand, and put it across uh, from one end of the, the tunnel to the other, but low enough to the ground where, like, anyone will run into it. Okay. Uh, I'm just casting alarm. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, okay, well, we're going to start going up there. Look, I can take a hit. Worst case scenario, what if I just run up there? Make them throw the boulder, wait for the boulder to roll by, and then you guys come up. I mean, that's definitely something that we can do, but... Oh, or we can do old maid, and we can have them, like, try to come to us, and I can pretend to be, like, an old lady, and they'll be like, what's this? There's an old person in here? And they come over, and then we just fuck them up. I'm going to put uh, a hand on... Uh, on Triv, uh, and I'm gonna take some of uh, some of Jack's alcohol and sprinkle it on him, and I'm gonna put my hand on him and uh, cast False Life, and that'll give you one d4 plus four temporary hit points. Do I roll or do you roll? You can roll. I don't care. It's your bite here. Seven. Oh, me too. And uh, wasting it. <laughs> Sorry. Trying to keep our friends alive. Um, well, I can cast another disc, and you can kind of like carry it over your head, and then maybe uh, 
Would you it like to just take my shield? Kill you. Can I? I mean, you can certainly try. All right, Matt, I can give. I can give it back. <laughs> well, yeah, I would like it back, but if it's gonna help you. Okay. I'll take a shield, and I'll put away the great sword, and have a hand axe in its place. Okay. I'm gonna cast mage on my, on myself. Okay. I'm just, just gonna be clear of the boulder area okay. where I can roll. Okay. Cool. 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 And I'm gonna start making my way up. Okay. Um, while you're doing that, go ahead and uh, uh, make an investigation check to see if you find any additional traps. Wolf. So strong. Wolf. Investigation. Four minus one. Three. <laughs> <laughs> so, try yeah. The trap makes poor decisions. You, you, you don't see anything? Okay. Um, and I'm gonna. Would I be able to prep raging for when? I, because I know that there's a potential boulder coming. Yeah. So like I, I mean, would that, wait. That's to the rage. best that you can think. Yeah. So based on what Nezis said. That's what I'm gonna. Thinker. That's what I was told yeah. that it potentially could happen. So yeah. that's what I'm going to assume. Yeah. You can go ahead and have rage ready uh, for when a boulder comes at me. Yeah. So I make my way up. Okay. Um, <clears throat> as you as you start making your way up, uh, because you rolled very poorly <laughs> on your investigation check, uh, you do step on a tripwire that, uh, when you step on it, it, it seems like nothing happens. Uh, there's some, like, metal hooks around you that are very <laughs> beaten and torn to crap, uh, so they don't do anything, but you start to hear... From the top of the mountain, and uh, there is a giant boulder that is being pushed by six kobolds that is about to start making its way down towards you. Then I rage. Okay, you rage. Uh, that's starting to come your way. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, and I'm going to go ahead and assume that you guys are all over here, so you're out of the path. 18. 18. Uh, that's actually the save for it. Oh, uh, God. So you are going to take yeah. half damage. Um, like so, killed on the side of it. Yeah. <laughs> like a crash bandicoot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know that they remade it? Mm -hmm. I need to buy it. That's one of the few games that Drew will play. Um, okay, so that is uh, 27 points of bludgeoning damage, which will be half to 14, which you're raging, so it's half to 7. Seven. So that that's the temp hit points right there. Yep. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, and then you guys just kind of see um, as, uh, as, uh, as you, the, a, a giant boulder just kind of slams into the wall over here. Uh, you kind of look up the roof and you just kind of don't see Trev because he's kind of just like banked into the wall. Dips on going Because he tried to avoid. So I'm going to run up. Yeah, so basically after descending for so long it almost comes as a surprise when the tunnel begins to head st uh, steeply <sighs> upwards um, it seems to be carved right into the rocks itself uh, the walls are very very smooth uh, and the only other feature that you can see is what appears to be a rope tied across uh, the tunnel at ankle height um, if it is meant to be a, tr be a trap it is very obvious by the standards of kobolds so that's the only th other thing you guys notice as you're walking. As we're, as we're walking towards it, can I look at Nezis and just be like, hey, you should eat this candy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let it happen. I won't tell what, her. You think I should eat this? Um, the guys at the spear of something or other. Same spears? Yeah, that one. They gave them to us and they said that they would help. Uh... Yeah. He cast a fireball around himself and all of you die. <laughs> are, we're walking up, right? Like, where are we well, right now? You got, well, we y'all haven't started going up yet. Y'all are right next to me, so. I'm running up. Carver, you had one of these, right? Uh, yeah. I've had one. <laughs> all right, well, they I'm trying to do one. Wait, real quick. Is it my older or younger brother? Uh, older brother. Okay, yeah, I've had one. Oh, yeah, definitely. Fuck that guy. Okay, so it's the just the three of us 
uh, because he's probably more than 60 feet away at this point, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, four is nobody. One, two, and then Josh is three. <laughs> you killed her. You're poisoned. <laughs> Sweet. Who's you poisoned? Are, uh, uh, you are poisoned uh, for uh, one hour. So, Because he ate the candy? A random creature within 60 feet of you becomes poisoned for 1d4 hours. Oh, all right. <laughs> Instant <laughs> karma. That dark tracks, dude. That worked out well. Instant karma. So, yeah, so I'm that thinking that's pretty damn good. You look great. I feel bad. Oh, what, what happened? You bad. No, no. To not drop rage, I would have gone after the kobolds, right after the boulder passed by. They also would have ran as soon as the, the boulder. You, when they. Oh. The, when the boulder went past, they would have run, and you wouldn't have been able to see them. That's fine. I would have still ran after where the boulder came from. Yeah. I think <laughs> I would also go try to meet back up with him now. Okay. So then if we've made our way up there... I'm not built to think. <laughs> I'm built to react. Ooh, there's a lot of colors. Yeah, you guys can give me a quick, quick, quick second here. All right. I'm, I'm going to go find a corner to pee in. I'm running. I'm gonna throw out a can. Mm. I want another beer, but I don't want to like be too wasted to drive home. I mean, I'm not wasted at all. But I don't want the chicken can you see. Hey Pat, can you go ahead and put that white pedestal uh, in the corresponding spot? No. Mm -hmm. Also, thank you very much to Carlos for 3D printing all of this extra dope stuff, yeah, so well, that way this could be super fucking fun. Yeah, you're welcome. Those are supposed to be flags, but the flag part didn't like the 3D printer didn't like the flag part. Oh god! So why is that guy so big? He's a pal. Uh, not a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put it closer to the camera? I, I want to see what it is. Um, if you can reach. Here, make this. Oh, you're gonna do it on your camera? We'll smart. Just go ahead and yeah, yeah that's that is oh, smart. <laughs> Mike's a big smart smart. Ooh. Da 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 da. da, da. Gonna Mike was like, oh, real soon, real soon. Mike, Mike was like, oh, you don't have to paint them. I'm like, uh, I have nothing better to do, so I'm gonna paint them. So I painted all the individual cobalts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Sure. Hey, Cadence. Oh, Cadence, it's a cable. Does the directions help, Josh? The north, southeast? Yeah. Yeah, that helps a lot. I figured that way you could just tell us, yeah, I want to go like four steps east or whatever, feet east or west or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so obviously Trev has kind of led the way in here, but I'm going to assume that he's going to get to the top and stop for you guys to catch up. Oh, uh, hell no. The tunnel ends <laughs> in front have. of me. The tunnel ends in front of a pair of battered and broken stone doors, flanked with chipped and pitted pillars. Through the doors, you can see a large, high ceiling chamber lit by burning uh, braziers. In the very center of the room, you can see a humanoid figure lying prostrate on an altar. Clad in battered silvery armor, dark blood appears to be dripping down the stone slab. But you can hear the figure moaning slightly. Five crudely carved draconic statues with wide open mouths are arranged on round, pl round plinths set around the altar. A huge red statue sits the furthest away from the door, clockwise from it a blue statue, then green, white, and black. You notice that the wall directly behind them is decorated with a series of large banners that together form the images of the five-headed dragon. Oh, of a five-headed dragon. Each of the heads has its own banner woven with gruesome details, showing them feasting on torn bodies of men, elves, and dwarves. The banner to the far left is red, followed by blue, green, white, and black. Over the right, you notice another large... Over to the right, you notice another large stone door. This one is intact and firmly closed. And there's no one in this besides the gentleman that's on the altar. Just the guy lying in pain. Do Here? would we know what this is? Uh, go ahead and make a uh, make a religion check. 
Nope. Seven. Nine. I didn't roll. I was gonna say, if you guys want to roll, you can. I'm seeing if it's peach. We can have advantage. <laughs> we got a five. How? Uh, you said religion? Yeah. Uh, sorry. 19 minus 1, 18. Oh, you got it. I'm like, how? Well, you definitely, um, based on everyone talking about Tiamat, you could definitely assume that this is likely um, a, a, a temple room for sacrifices to Tiamat. Um, you would also probably assume that these statues are likely enchanted. Don't touch the statue. What if we move in front of the statues? They're, they're magic. I don't know what kind. Peter, are the are the statues magic? You just hear. Oh. That's a yes. We're coming for you, buddy. I don't know this guy, and I don't care if he dies. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cast uh, two thousand gold. Detect magic. Oh, uh, you're gonna cast detect magic. Mm. You are gonna get quite a few blips, my friend. Hit me with it. Um, well, uh, how, what's the range on detect magic? Thirty feet. Thirty feet. I would um, wait until we were up. Yeah, yeah. obviously. Um, so when you get within 30 feet, um, I'll say once you get to about here, uh, the statues that are within 30 feet of you, you would get blips off of. Uh, what kind of uh, magic is it? Um, I learned the school of magic. That is a really good question. Because uh, he doesn't say that. Um, That's a tricky one. You'd have to look up what the effect is, then what spell corresponds with it, and then... It tells you what the spell is. Um, then um, school of magic. A draconic isn't a school. Uh, <laughs> it's a way of life. It could be like conjuration. I will say conjuration would make sense then. Um, Either conjuration or evocation. Mm-hmm. Based on what they do, I think that would make sense. Okay. Do you tell us this? Know. Yeah, they really should have written that, wrote that into it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> DM skilled. Well, it's technically Winghorn Press, but other than that, guys, you did great. I'm not looking there. It's a, thank you. Um, but I don't even have a camera on me right now. So maybe like someone of like dragon nature can like move past to the statues. I vote Kava. I mean, I'm not a dragon. I'm people. I give Carver back the shield. And I take it and I say, I'll go. Do it for vomit. Yeah, vomit. For vomit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what am I trying to do? Get uh, get Pete off that uh, pencil, bro. Okay. All right. I, 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 as I get close to it, I take a deep breath. And as he goes closer to it, I'm going to cringe from where I'm at. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I try to go in and and grab Peter. Okay, I'm gonna need you to make two uh, dexterity saving throws. <clears throat> uh, 16. Dexterity. Uh, 19. Uh, and the second. Make... What? You said you need to make two? Yep, second one was 14. 14? Okay, so you failed the second one. Um, so I'm gonna say that you succeeded on the white statue. But on the green statue, you fail. Um, so you're going to take 10 points of poison damage as both statues just unleash what looks like a breath weapon out at you. Oh, shit. Um, and then as you do that, you kind of shake it off and you get up towards uh, Peter. Peter. And as you get up towards Peter, the figure lying on the slab slowly twists its head and your eyes meet those of a young blonde man seemingly stricken with agony. As you glance down to his chest, you can understand why. A jagged rent has been cut into his plate armor, and the flesh below has been sliced open. You can see something shining and pulsating in the ruined mess, but it's far too big to be a human heart. The man holds a blood-stained hand, um, holds out a bloodstained hand and whispers a single word. Run. As soon as the word leaves his lips, the knight begins to twitch violently. He shudders and shakes as his eyes roll back. 
His skin appears to ripple and tear as crimson scales erupt across his face. Long fanged teeth force their way between his lips and claws spring through the leather of his gauntlets. With a roar, the creature that was once human, now something much worse, jerks upright, grabs a long glittering greatsword from the rocky floor and glares at you with eyes that seem to burn with infernal fire. Well, for mission, boys. Uh -huh. I'm say Peter. <laughs> uh, Peter's not Peter anymore. Ooh, girl. Ah, oh, what is with my initiative? <laughs> you and me both. Not as good. <laughs> I didn't do as good as you. Don't worry, it's gonna count when it matters. All right, guys, 20, 20. 26. <laughs> Ooh. Got a nat twenty. Nice. You say nat twenty. I'm I'm kind of going the the Justin route. Nat twenty trumps all. Um. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Okay, cool. Um, 20 to 15. Tight. Oh. 15 to 10. Well. <laughs> oh, um, that's right. Man, I rolled for shit on initiative for these guys. Good. Yeah. Um, Great. Good. Cool, cool, cool. Um, all right. Um, 15 to 10. That was Trev. 10 to 5. 7. Josh, where are you? <laughs> Just you waiting. rolled a nat one, didn't you? Nope, I got a three. <laughs> <laughs> what's your What's your dexterity modifier? Zero. Zero. Gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Um. So then, uh, George Washington. I'm gonna die. Oh yeah, George Washington is with us. I don't yeah. even know what his name now is. Cause it's Nesmith. 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 Where did you get George Washington? Because George, George Washington Carver. Carver. George Washington Carver, the guy that invented peanut butter. They invited. They invented peanut butter. Uh, yeah. Okay, um, so as he stands, comes to be, um, you guys have now uh, rolled for initiative. Okay. Uh, you can definitely tell that on his neck he is wearing this, the, the, the Sable Spears amulet um, that, that uh, Frain will let you know about to try and get. Right. Um, right. So we are now into initiative. Uh, you guys, obviously, everyone would be up a little bit further here, I would say. Yeah, uh, not right. quite into the room. Um, Felder, <clears throat> you're up. Uh, so I'm going to first, uh, shit my pants. Uh, I hope that's a free action. Yeah, no, um, free shits. Cool, Ew. cool. I'm going to touch Jack on the back. Uh, what color dragon is he? Red. Red. Red, Red. scales were came out. Right, right. I'm going to take a hot pepper and I'm going to shove it in his face. <laughs> And I'm going to imbue him with uh, the ability to spit poison, a, a poison cone of 3d6 damage uh, of dragon's breath. And uh, don't waste that, please. And I'm going to then what? cast uh, Toll the Dead on uh, new dragon Frank. Okay. Peter, whatever. Peter. Um, so that is a save? Wisdom save. Wisdom save. Uh, 16. He is uh, failed. That's a ten. Dope, 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 dope. I love when that happens. Um, so it's a what? A D eight. It's two D eight. Oh, because look, it's a D twelve because he hasn't taken damage. He is two D eight. If he's missing any hit points, it's, oh. it's a D eight. Yeah. So yeah. now it will be. It's a D twelve if he's taken damage. Yeah. Okay. Yep. He has not taken damage. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> <He> max. <gasps> ten. Ten. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Okay. Does that do it for your turn? Uh, yeah. Trev, you what, boy? Uh, I'm gonna get mad again as a bonus action. <laughs> Rage, and finally, happy to pull my great sword back out, and I'm gonna bum rush him. I can get there, right? 40 movement? Yeah, you totally can, but I need you to make two dexterity saving throws for me. Okay. Oh, God, these fucking pillars. Number one, natural 20. Cool, cool. Number two, natural 19. Cool, cool. You succeed on both of them. Um, it doesn't state in here that it gives you half damage. Um... So, if you succeed, um, did you just succeed? So you just succeed, yeah. You're oh, good. okay. So that makes sense since it's an area spell. Thirty-five. Right? Yeah, you can go ahead and attack. Okay. That's what, you're, what your goal is? Mm, hell yeah. Uh, attack number one. Ooh, fourteen misses. Ooh, let's try the other one. Attack number two. Ooh, sixteen misses. Ooh. Great. <laughs> Motherfuckers quit. 
We're off to a good start. Yeah. And he just kind of looks at you and goes, <laughs> I'm going to look at back at him and go, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jack, you're up. Really? I'm going to. Yeah, everyone watch <clears throat> it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, you bitch, now we're only going to get a thousand gold. <laughs> and then I'm going to five, uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Cool. Uh, make um, a dexterity saving throw for me. For sure. Just that was, you didn't even come close to that. I'm box. sorry. It's <laughs> that Drunken monk, drunken monk. Okay, that's a nat 15 plus 7, so okay. 22. Y- yep, you succeed. So as it like, I'm going to kind of run. Uh, how far is the cone? 15 uh, feet. 15 feet, yeah. It's only 15? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it'll, it will shoot off if someone gets within 30 feet of it. Um, uh, if it oh, no. Can... oh, no, his cone. Oh, his cone. My cone. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So my cone's 15? Yes. I'm going to take out a white pillar. Cool. I'm going to uh, kind of reach my arc back, and I'm going to poison damage the fuck out of the white pillar to see if I can destroy it. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and do you have to roll an attack for that? No, it's a deck save. It's a deck save. Cool, so it automatically fails that because it's a a a statue. Because it's a pillar. (laughs) It has no dexterity. Uh, Seven and... uh, Thirteen. So thirteen. Thirteen? Thirteen points of uh, poison damage. Cool, cool. Noted. As I throw up on this thing. Cool, cool. All right. Um, It is... uh, Uh, Peter's turn. Um, So... Let's see. Two attacks. I do have two attacks. So wouldn't you get to do that again? Oh, how many? How much do I get for Dragon Breath? It's not a it's one con- and done. It's concentration oh. up to a minute. Okay, I'm gonna do a second one now. I'm sorry. Oh, ten, would you? Okay, I, I don't know if I that do. would constitute as a second attack on that, but. And that's up to you, bro. You have a, yeah, that's to you, Paul. I'll, I don't. Have... I'll allow it, but it's one of those things where I just I, I'm not certain on that. But yeah. I mean, it, there's a ninety percent chance it's not going to work. Until the spell ends, the creature can use an action to exhale energy oh, of the chosen type. It does a deck save. Prone. Yeah, my bad. So it's going to fail the deck save. Yep. Uh, so that's three, uh, six, and nine. Uh, no, Eleven. Eleven points of more points of poison damage. Oh. Twenty four total. Cool, cool, cool. Tight, tight, tight. Okay, so it is uh, Peter's turn. Uh, he is going to start uh, start his turn by um, making a uh, attack with his newly found breath weapon, uh, which is going to go at both Trev and Carver. Uh, so I need both of you to make a dexterity save for me. Five. Fourteen. Uh, both of you have failed. Um, so, what effect is this? Uh, we'll get there. Okay. Okay, so let's see 10, 16, 20, 24, 30 points of fire damage with his breath weapon. Ooh, 30? Yeah, both, both of us Ooh. are halved. Yeah, 30 points. It is fire damage, so obviously, if you have resistance to it, um, that is true. Um, I'm gonna use my reaction to hellish rebuke. Go for it. Yeah, it's a dex save of fourteen. Cool. Uh, he fails. Okay, so it's two d ten. That's also eight. Fire damage. Uh, Twelve points of damage. Twelve points of damage. Okay. Um, you would kind of notice that it doesn't seem like it's as effective as you hoped it would be. Because okay, fair. Um. So with with that being said, um. This is kind of more of a DM to DM question. Sure. Um, he does also have a multi attack. Would he have that? Do you think he would have that as well, or would it just be the breath weapon? Uh, have the multi attack is it's usually like if you're doing a melee attack. Okay. So I figured attack. it'd be one or the, if he uses the breath weapon, he doesn't get the multi attack. Right. Okay. So um, with that being said, then that is Peter's turn. Um, he is uh, going to stay there. That means we are up to Carver. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, Jesus rolled a natural one. So the brothers both suck at the <laughs> initiative. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, we're slow. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him. Go for it. A warhammer. Wow, wow. eleven. Oh. Uh, that misses. <laughs> Seventeen. That misses. Gross. 
Fuck. Um, I'm gonna bonus action, uh, shield of faith. Bonus action, shield of faith. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So then, what's going to happen here is uh, if that ends your turn, Nezus is gonna start walking this way and come out this way. <clears throat> he will. Uh, that one will go ahead and shoot out at him. So deck save. Uh, which he fails, so he's going to take uh, eight points of poison damage. Okay, and then he is going to... He's got a multi-attack. Um, trying to remember how this character works, because I made him a while ago. That's what we're trying to do. Do what? Do it. Do it. Do it. Gotcha. Okay, that's what I remember now. That's what I was just double checking. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so um, he is going to uh, he can't get any closer than that because he's now run out of. Um, Movement. He's run out of movement because he's only got yeah he's only got thirty feet of movement, so that'll do it. So that's going to end his turn. Um, but yeah, now I got to double check some things. Actually, no, he's got a javelin, so he's going to go ahead and try and throw he's it. He's going to eat the javelin. He's going. He's he's going. He's going to eat a javelin. Um, he's going to eat a javelin. Um, <laughs> that seems dangerous. That's that's um, that's that's, that's a natural twenty. Uh, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so my brother. He's also a brute fighter, so he adds a d4 to every attack roll. Um, so that's double d4s too. Um, so that's eight plus. So we know a natural twenty six, hits. Fourteen. That's um, fourteen plus five is 19, nineteen points of damage. Um, cool. Seventeen does not hit. Cool. All right. So seventeen points of damage. Um, he's looking fine. Cool. Uh, that's going to end Nezus's turn. Uh, he's now without a javelin, so that means we are up to Felder. Uh, I go, uh, after seeing uh, his breath attack, I go, ah! uh, can, Wait, wait, then, hold on. Can, can you do that again, please? No. Oh. <laughs> um, so... It's okay, we already got that tape. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Just keep repeating that one part over and over and it's over. my new ringtone. Perfect. Who has ringtones? What year is it? <laughs> um, you. So... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to stay exactly where I am, uh, not move at all, and I'm going to cast Toll the Dead on him again. So another wisdom save of 16. Cool. Uh, that one is a success. Okay, so nothing happens. And I'm going to bonus action stand really still. Exactly. My brothers are like statue kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, if that does it for your turn, then we are up to Trev. Okay, I'm going to circle around him. Staying. Staying within his attack range? Correct. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it. Because uh, you're not in melee, right, Josh? I'm not. No. He's about five feet away. I, I'm five feet away from him. No, yeah, he um, he attacked on his last turn. Okay, so yeah, he so he would be yeah. Uh, candy or attack? Attack. Did I'll, I'll, I'll take the attack. Damage yeah, him. I'll attack. Okay, you'll so, have advantage because he's flanked. Okay, so I'm gonna take the sword and, and just start swinging and being pissed that it missed the first time. That's eighteen plus seven. That'll hit. <laughs> um, I'll just swing for the second one now. Uh, that's gonna be a. 17 for the second one. 17 misses. Okay, so the first one is going to be... Cool, cool. I'm going to do Savage Attacker. Because I can pick between the two. Okay, that's cool. 10, uh, 14, plus Rage Damage. 16 Slashing. 16 Magical, slashing. if it matters. Cool, cool, cool. Um, um, yeah. And, uh, yeah. That's it. Cool, cool. All right. Um, that'll do it for Trev's turn. Yake, what are we doing? Okay, uh, I'm going to try to get behind uh, Peter. So I'm on beat feet. Okay. Beat um, feet. Hold on, I'm on beat feet. So I'm right here. So at least 5, 10, 
15. Okay, you, so you're going to stay closer to this one? Uh, hold on. So I'm here. Because that's the thing is, if, you, if, if depending on which way you go, you might get hit by both of them. So, so I can go like around and about up here. Okay. The the black one would still be within 15 feet that's of you. That's fine. Let's do so it. So go ahead and make your deck save. Wait, so, so how does it trigger? Like if you walk within 15 feet of it. So that's why you guys oh, fuck you haven't gone. You you guys really aren't moving I'll around it. it. Okay. So it now. Just, it's not like one movement and then it stops working. Yeah. Uh, you take 10 points of acid damage. That's fine. I'm going to move up and I'm going to use my, my anger. And I'm going to, I'm going to beat the shit out of Pete because I'm mad. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to attack. Um, beat your Peter. Beat your Pete. So is he, am I at advantage yet? Uh, no, you wouldn't be at advantage okay. because of the fact that you're not flanking. So 17 doesn't hit. 17 doesn't hit. No, fuck me. Uh, that's a modded, that's a natural 15 plus 23. 23 hits. Okay. And then I'm going to see if the third one hits. Uh, 18. 18. 18 just hits. Fuck you. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you, Miss Daisy. Fuck you, Miss Daisy. Fuck you guys you, are Ray. rolling like dick on this Fuck one. Fuck <laughs> you, reindeer games. So I'm going to hit him twice. Five. And seven plus eight. That's 15. Yeah. And then I'm going to uh, use a key point. I'm going to stunning strike this motherfucker. Stunning. So I'm going to hit him in the, the top of the head. To the to the bottom of the abdomen and then the solar plexus. So he needs to make a uh, a con save of what? Thirteen. It's that high con. He succeeds. Okay. Thirteen. I did. Yeah, it's, it's a shut up. Succeed. I did my best. All right. But when, but it, when it hits, it's when awesome. it hits, it's op. Yeah. Yeah. Now he 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 rolled a natural ten and natural ten plus his modifier succeeds. That's fine. So whatever. At least I hit him. No, you're good. And then mm -hmm. I'm gonna be there. You start. He's starting to look a little. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little there. trouble. A little trouble. trouble. But it's his turn, and he's not terribly pleased that someone just came up from behind him and whacked him. Yeah, all right. Um, he doesn't like it from behind. No, he doesn't. Whatever, so bitch. he's going to turn around and start by seeing if he gets his breath weapon back. Okay. Good. Um. So his first Good. attack. Um. Let's see. That one's going to miss. That one is a. Uh, um. What's the plus to hit on it? Uh, uh, ten to hit? No. Okay. Get up. That one is going Jump. to be a fifteen to hit. Fifteen does not hit. I'm gonna. Okay. So he he misses both of his attacks. That's what I get for criticizing you guys. Stop trying to hit me, dude. <laughs> um, Feather, okay. he's trying to hit me. So that's. I'm so afraid. That's going to. So um. Uh, I'm gonna use my reaction. Oh, for I'm Sentinel. If he's gonna move, I'm Sentinel. Okay, go for it. Swing on him. He's gonna try and move. Swing on him, brother. Do we all get opportunity of attacks against? Uh, him? Yeah, you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be an 18. 18 oh, will he's, hit. He's moving. Never mind. He's, he's staying right he's there. He's not moving anymore. Oh, okay. Oh, so we don't. Get uh, that's 10. 17 damage. Cool. Okay. And he cannot move. Brent's. Oh, wait, you're going to hit. Yeah, I don't want to hit everyone else. That's fair. Oh, sorry. Cool, 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 cool. Sorry. Okay, uh, sorry. since you used your reaction, Correct. it is Carver's turn. Uh, he doesn't get a, a turn? Who? No, he was striking on me. Oh, oh, okay. okay. It's his turn. Yeah. And then he tried to move, and then I didn't let Sentinel. him. Sentinel. Gotcha. Okay. No, then, Sentinel uh, over powerness. What? I said that Sentinel o penis. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, penis. Penis. oh penis. Yeah. Okay, so we have advantage on attacks, right? Correct. Oh, so I'm gonna oh, do that. Right. So <laughs> I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do the Warhammer. That is a 22. That hits. Okay, so I'm gonna pair that with a smite. Ooh. Okay. So Words we've pattern. never heard Josh say before. The two pounds at the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what what does that get me? <laughs> hey, Paladin. Is it R2D8? D8. D8. Okay. D8. Yeah. For our first level. For first level. Okay. That's a 10. 2D8. For first level? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then it's 3D8. I've never heard of Paladin, so I don't know. 5, 8, it's 13, 19, 19 plus 4. 23. 23. Can I bonus action something? It's going to rip all the hair out. Mm -hmm. I could bonus action branding smite. Oh god. 
and Bruce mm. right, Oh, that's, that, that's the next time I hit him. Yeah. So that's like a separate thing you have to do. Girls, up to you. Uh, no, I'll just I'll I'll leave it. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. So that's okay. Stuff. So then, if that's the case, that's the end of your turn. Yep. Cool. Nezis' turn is up. So he's going to go in there. He's going to get hit with that breath weapon again. Yeah, but he's going to get it. And he is going to fail again and take seven points of oh, poison sucking. damage. They're allowed. I'm so afraid I'm by myself. <laughs> and he's going to uh, attack with his short sword. He gets advantage because I'm on the other side. Yeah, no, first swing definitely misses. And second swing. Uh, second swing will hit with a 22. Ooh, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Like Honey so was warning us. Teeth level. Uh, he's looking beat <laughs> up. Um, you guys have done a number on him. Um, Good. So that's going to be the end of Nezis' turn. Belder, you are up. <clears throat> Fireball. Well, I was thinking about it. How's everyone feeling? Half. <laughs> <laughs> not bad. Not, worth, not bad. You guys got him fucking surrounded, so... Fireball's going to be like half damage anyway. Yeah, but it's also 8d6, so... Yeah, you're yeah. also going to hit everybody die. else, though. That's I true. I could definitely die. <laughs> I think I'll and still no that. one can heal anyone. He's like 30. Well, except me. That's my hit point. So I'm going to take a fight. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'll just toll the dead again. Toll the dead? What's yeah. that again? Uh, wisdom save of 16. Success. Okay, then nothing happens for me. It happens. I'm just going to stand there. You're doing great. Thank you so much. Happy to be here. We're still alive. <laughs> cool, cool. All right, so Trev, you're up, my man. Everyone, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, God, I want to do it so bad. Do what? I want to eat the candy. Do it, man. Do mm. it. Candy, I'm going to eat the fucking candy. You're going to eat a piece of candy for yeah. your action. Go eat. ahead and roll a D100. 75. 75. Oh no, why did I eat a person? I, uh, <laughs> I, I lose rage if I don't attack or get. Okay, so 75, you said? Yeah. Uh, you glow with bright light in a 30 foot radius for the next minute. Any creature that ends its turn within five feet of you is blinded until the end of its next turn. Oh, hell. No. That's so good. Risk I'm, and reward, guys. Risk I'm and sorry, reward. Sorry, guys. And my rage drops, I think. <clears throat> yep, your rage is going to drop. Okay, so, uh... You... Wait, does it drop if... No, I... It... It's at the end of my turn? I don't know how rage works. You're, you're, you're the barbarian. Well, animal. yeah, you're um at the end of your turn. So, yeah, if you don't... Unless you take damage, your rage ends. Yeah, so, I think it's your next turn. So, yeah. You need to... If, if, if you, you, if take, you take... If, if someone tries to attack you, your rage will still be up. However, if someone doesn't attack you, then... It was the rage. Okay, so by so if no one hits me by the beginning of my next turn, it drops. Fresh. Okay. 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 Fresh. Okay. Um. So <laughs> if that's the end of your turn, uh, Jack, you're up. Yo, what up? I'm gonna hit him three times. Hit him three times. Bop, bop. You're you're blind. Hit, hit him real good three times. Am I blind? No, it's at the end. At of At the turn. end of your turn, they'll be blind. All, All right. Well, I got advantage right now, girl. I'm gonna fuck him up. I'm so sorry. What are you sorry? Oh, you needed this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's oh. a natural 16 plus 7, so 20... Three. Okay. Uh, the second one didn't hit, and then third one... Let's see if 22? I can 21. Okay, so 22, and then I'm going to I'm gonna spend a key point. I'm going to attack two more times. Okay, so you're going to Flurry of Blows it? Yeah, I'm a Flurry well, of Blows it. Well, then it would... It. If you're going to be using Flurry of Blows, that would overrule your bonus action attack. Oh, so, yeah, so, yeah, so you just get one more attack. Okay, so I'll just do one more attack. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. beat feet. Okay, that's a natural 18, so three of them hit. Cool, 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 cool. So let me see here. Okay, so off the bat, uh, it's going to be 12 plus uh, 18. Um, 23. There you go. Bad at math. I'm a banker. 
Mm-hmm. Um, 27. 27. Six, five, 27. Four. So I'm going to 27 Furry of Blows, and then I'm going to dip just slightly back. So I'm not in the glow Spare range. Oh, yeah. That's really all that you can do. He's hanging on by a thread, but it's his <clears> turn. <throat> Um, and he's going to try and turn real quick around. Yo, leave me alone. Uh, he does get his breath weapon back. Um, so he is going to shoot that breath weapon towards you for beating him the fuck up. So, uh, Trev, you, uh, no, you wouldn't end up getting caught in it. Um, just because of the location of where he moved to. So that's going to be a dexterity save for me. A dex save. Okay. So because he's making an attack against a creature that is other than me, can I attack him? You have something, right? Yes, I do. Yeah, go for it. Uh, that's a crit. <laughs> <laughs> Not that 20. Uh, 12. 12 for 12. my save. 12 is a failure. Okay. Um, Savage attacker. 7 times 2 is 14. Plus 7 is 21. Plus two is twenty three. How do you want to do this? Oh shit! Um, <laughs> I'm gonna like come down and like take the great sword and just pierce it right through the open heart. Yeah. How much cool. damage did I take? Huh? Did I take any damage? Oh uh, well, as you do that, he shoots the breath weapon straight up. Yeah, that's fine. So the breath weapon. Oh, also fires over you. As it goes up, I'm gonna go Felder. Yeah. Do you know what my dad's favorite drink was? No. What? <laughs> oh it's the well, worst thing I've ever heard. As I kind of like crunch down and I'm waiting for this fucker to do something else up. I don't. What was the drink though? Oh, it was water. Oh, okay. But I said it. I know. All right. Was it actually his favorite drink? Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. No, it's wine. <laughs> oh. That makes sense. <laughs> so as you do that, um, <laughs> what was it? What was it though? Is that really okay? Baby, cool, 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 cool. Baby. As you guys take out uh, Pitor, um you can go up to him and grab the silver amulet that hangs uh, around his neck. Take it, um, because that's basically what uh, obviously the mission gold. that you guys were here for. Um, so if you want to go ahead and uh, grab that off of him, you can. Do they want to bring up the body and see if they want to like bring him back to life or something? I don't know. Is, did the body shift into a regular people's? No. Okay. They might not believe us that it's him. Okay, then leave it here. We tell no one what we saw this day. It was a dragon person. Yeah. He died. What? And yeah, let's dig it and then let's beat feet out of here. Well, as you do that... The two doors that were the doors that were over here mm-hmm. swing open as you kill him. There are more doors. I'm gonna go through the doors. Oh God, please! I'm gonna no. do the thing. I'm gonna go through the, one of the doors. You're gonna go through the doors. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna cool. see. Cool. Uh, make two dexterity saves for me. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Josh. Uh, okay, twenty-one. So yeah, twenty-one for the first one, uh, and then. 22 for the second one. Cool. So the uh, that, that that means that the what is it? Uh, the uh, lightning and poison damage don't affect you. I'm gonna do a Ladania Tomlinson, and I'm just gonna spin move it as I'm going forward. Cool, cool, cool. So the stone doors swing back slightly to reveal a huge semicircular chamber. The far edge is made up of a uh, made up of a sheer wall of fallen stones and compacted earth. The stark white bones of an enormous dragon peek out from the rubble, but only two taloned feet and a vast toothy skull are visible. The rest of the once great creature's body is lost forever in the wreckage of its lair. Good. A half dozen kobolds stand in front of the skull. Three are in ragged red robes and are chanting as they hold wicked looking daggers to the throats of the others. Before you can react, they make their cuts. As the sacrifices fall to the ground, you see the priest's eyes roll back in their sockets and with a gentle sigh, they also collapse seemingly dead. In the darkness, the long dead bones begin to twitch slowly. The massive skull and bone white claws shudder and shake their way into the air 
the vast mouth opens impossibly wide and lets out a deafening roar as it drifts through the air towards you, flanked by floating claws. So, boys, we're rolling for initiative. I was going to say, I didn't park my car here. <laughs> Wait, so did... Are we all in there already? Uh, well, I mean... I would have chased after him. Yeah, you probably would have chased after him, so I'm going to need all of you to make a deck save. And it's all plus three. Are we rolling initiative or deck save first? Uh, deck save first. The deck save is all going to be plus three. You already did. You're already in there. So this is your initiative. Okay. Should I count okay. this as my dex or my initiative? I, just, I rolled when you said initiative, but like... Not beating up a dragon? Should I just use it as a dex? By yourself? Yeah, you are. Uh, you can go this ahead and roll it, it as... Um, <laughs> You can use that as your initiative since that's what you rolled first. Okay. Uh, that's so that was a nat 20 for initiative and a nat 19 for dex. Uh, the te- the dex is plus three for everyone. Just remember that. Oh. I mean, it didn't help me, but. Okay. So, 23. 24. I got 17. Travis, bro. Dex is fuck. Oh, wait. Wait, I don't remember what I rolled for my dex. Shit. It's like eight. It's 24. Oh, it's four. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, eight. Eight for your decks? Yeah. Did anyone get anyone else get lower than a fifteen? No. No. I got like four points of poison damage. Ow. Ow. My tummy already hurts. Stop it. Yeah. No, for the next battle. I'm getting yeah. goo over everything. What does that affect? Uh disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Which is why I haven't like attacked anything. Why you haven't it? Oh yeah, because you're poisoned. Yeah. Yeah. I looked it up. No, 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 no. no. D and D beyond tells you. You handle it as smart, dog. D and D. They're gonna sponsor us. We're gonna be. They already have a much better sponsor. <laughs> That's true. You never know. I do. They might want to help the little guy. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Okay, guys, what are we? Uh, um, so we rolled for initiative. Let me go ahead and roll their initiatives real quick. Um, the claws on that one didn't want to print very well. Are they white claws? There's, there are white it's, claws. Uh, claws. They're yeah. um, <laughs> in the laws and claws. I was gonna say uh, that. God damn it! <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> You bogarted my joke, brah. Did it, dude. You did it, dude. (laughs) Um, Taint no laws. Oh, you drink claws? Yes. Uh, So, um, uh, what is the um, uh, 25 to 20 on initiative? 23. 23. And then he got 24. Yes. No, initiative 22. Oh, I thought you got a plus Mm. four for the... No, uh, natural 20 plus two. Oh, for the deck save? Yeah. 24 for the deck save. Yeah, you're fine. 22 for the initiative. Oh, then I'm 23. Cool, cool. So Jack's up first. Right. Trev, uh, 20 to 15. 16. This is okay. Um, and then uh, 10 to 5? Uh, 14. Oh, did I skip 15 of 10? Yeah, 14. Well, well, I thought that's what I did. He's 16. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Um, Okay, then Felder. Um, Then 10 to 5. No, we're all done. We're all done, okay. So that's when the claws go. Cool, cool, cool. And then the head? Oh, no, the head head is already in there. Oh, great. Um, Cool, cool, cool. So um, that means we are back at the top of the order. Uh, Jack, what are you doing? Quit out. You're up first. (sighs) I'm gonna gather my wits. Uh, do I still have the the breath attack? Uh, it's a minute, so no. Yeah, I would say no. Okay. Uh, thirty. I'm gonna go thirty over here. Okay. Because I'm thirty, flirty, and thriving. I'm gonna attack the claws three times. Cool, cool, cool. Oh come on, touch your fuck me on this. <laughs> Don't fucking roll Okay, so Natural nat nineteen. That is. That's uh, four. Four plus seven. That misses. Okay. Uh, four plus eight. That that's a fifteen. Or seven plus eight. So that's a that misses. fifteen. Okay. So the one hits. Okay. Five, and then I'm gonna dip like a motherfucker, like a chicken wing. So that's five points of damage. You said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're caught. I got caught. <laughs> five, three, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five. <laughs> Okay. I'm good. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Trev? Am I still glowing? No, how long did that last for? The, the glowy thing? Oh, that lasted for... If it's only a minute, hour, right? 
Uh, Lord, I hope it's not an hour. <laughs> Next minute. So that's, that's okay. worn off. So everyone's gotten their vision back. That's gone. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run up to it. You're, you're not raging anymore, too, by the way. I, I, Don't forget. Here. Ooh. Going right at the mouth, okay? I'm going at the mouth, and I'm eating another piece of candy. Oh. <laughs> a plan. Trev is living life on the fucking edge. Yeah, and I'm built to make bad decisions. Um, oh, if, this might be the same as I rolled before. 85? No, no, no it's 75. 75 is last time. The one oh, before that. Yeah, no, image. you cast mirror image again. <laughs> that works. I take it. Uh, and then... Oh, it's only if I take damage, right? Like that yeah. rage. Okay, then I'm not going to rage yet. Cool. Uh, that's definitely going to take damage. It is right in front of you. Yeah, but he could hit one of the duplicates. Uh, that's true. Cool. All right. Um, so that's like Trev. A... Uh, Carver, you're up. Okay. Uh, how long has it been since we ended that last battle? Um, I would say probably about like three to five minutes. Okay, cool. So my shield of faith is still up. Yes. Um, I'm going to run up to the left claw. Uh, so this one? The north claw, yeah. Cool. Oh, uh, the one I hit? Yeah. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So uh, you cannot quite, quite make it all the way. Uh, then use 10 less movement. And just keep me close uh, north one square. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Then I am going to use magic. <gasps> magic. Cool. Magic. Uh, let's do. <laughs> that is not my card. Ooh, let's do guiding bolt. Very good energy. Okay. Okay. No whammies. No whammies. No whammies. Twenty-five. Uh, and which are you aiming for? Oh, right, the claw. Okay, the claw. Uh, twenty-five. Uh, yeah, that that'll hit. What kind of uh, damage does it do? Radiant. Yeah. Cool, cool. Okay. All right, two, four. That's nine, eleven. Plus thirteen, eighteen. Eighteen points of damage. Good hit. Good hit. Cool, cool. All right. Um, so that means it is the skull's turn. Um, cool. All right. So, ooh, that's, that's, that's bigger. Um, so 15. Okay. So, uh, that means, uh, Jack, Trev and Carver, I'm going to need all of you guys to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, good. <laughs> we'll get it the old. Uh, Jack, you get plus 30. 30. What was yours? Mine? Yeah. 18. 18? Yep. Good. And Jack, you get plus 3. Oh! Uh, 21. 21. That's so cool. Trev? 14. 14. So plus 3? I'm not near him. Uh... Let's be within yeah. five feet. Cool. So we, um, roll these or ten up. feet. Seven. This is your aura of vitality, isn't it? Uh, aura of something. Of something, yeah. Yeah, I'm not near him, Four. so it doesn't matter. Sweet, sweet. And I'm not raging. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> All right, so that is going to be 40 points of necrotic damage. Gross. Ooh. That's with the save? That's 40 fun. points is, no, you get half as much if you save it. So you take 20 points. Christ, oh, fucking mighty. <laughs> I should have raged. <laughs> but I hit a weapon attack. <clears throat> what weapon? It's a floating fucking skull. Oh, no. <laughs> he got claws? Or he, he got teeth? Cool, cool. Right All right. Here, um, so that's going to end the skull's turn. So that means it is Nezus's turn. Um, he's going to... 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah. Uh, he's yeah. going to go ahead and try making an attack. Um, uh, actually, no. He's going to go ahead and he's within 15 feet. He's going to try using the his, his breath weapon. Um, so they're going to make dex saves. He should be able to catch... Uh, well, he should only be able to catch the claw. But he's going to try doing that. Uh, so that is a dex save plus three for the claw. Uh, fails. 
Um, so he also is a gold dragonborn, so that means he's got fire breath. Um, so he rolled good, too. That's 11 damage. Um, but you notice that the claw doesn't seem to take any effect of that. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, so that'll end Nezis' turn, uh, which means we are at Felder. So does that mean we should stop attacking the claw? No, I think fire Oof. damage does nothing. Just sound, right. By the looks of it, it looks like he is a, uh, immune, immune to fire. To fire. Ah. Cool. Um, okay, so I will come up here um, just in the doorway, and I'm, I'm, I'm even like kind of on the wall. Hiding as close to the walls again? Oh, for sure. <laughs> and uh, I will cast Chromatic Orb. Uh, I'm going to use uh, Acid Damage cool. at the l- right claw, because no one's attacked that yet, the Southern Claw. Southern so what, Claw? Cool. Yes. The White Claw? Um, the White Claw. <laughs> the White Claw. That is not going to do it. Okay. Uh, probably miss with an 11. That'll miss, yep. Sweet. Uh, then that's all I got. Cool, cool. Okay. Um, then that means it is the claws turn. Um, so the claws do have a hover speed. Um, so. Are they within five feet, I mean? Um, one of them None just of them got is. within five feet of you because it's going to attack you. Um. Uh, it's going to attack and does a 14 hit Trev? Uh, stand by. Uh, it does not hit me. Okay. <laughs> I was seeing if it would have hit the duplicate or me. Gotcha. Gotcha. So. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Um, so 14, and then the other one is going to go after Nezis. Um, and that is a 24. That definitely hits. Um, cool, cool. Um, that does six plus four. That's ten points of slashing damage to Nezus. Cool. Um, that is going to end the claws turns. Top of the order, Jack. What's up? <clears throat> I'm gonna look at Felder. I'm gonna say, if I die, dude, remember me as I lived. Just super wasted. How many eight feet? And then I'm going to five, ten, five, thirty. He's within five feet of the skull. Uh, yeah. Trucks. Yeah. Yes. Did so right. you get within five feet of it? I mean, yeah. 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 Okay. So I'm gonna go behind it, and I'm gonna beat on this head. I'm gonna beat this brain. Cool, cool. Attack it with advantage. Go for it, man. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do the first two, and then depending on how I do, I'm probably gonna flurry and blow this motherfucker. It can do well it. Candy's uh, good for you. That's not. <laughs> Okay, uh, 17 plus 7. That'll hit. Um, 15 plus 7, uh, 22. That'll hit. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm going to dump it. I'm going to dump the furry blows, so I'm going to go two more Two hits. more attacks? Yeah. Okay, the third one doesn't hit. Uh, 18, just to see if I crit. Uh, natural 19. Okay, so three of them are going to hit. Cool. So um, let me see here. Uh, so 12 plus uh, 18, uh, 21, and then 24. So 24. 24 points of my fists are also magical. Cool. So just keep that. I don't know if that's important. No, so not right now. But beat I the fuck. The knowledge. Uh, and that was how many feet did I do? Uh, I think you did 35. 10, 20, 25, 30, 45, 45, 50. Oh, yeah. So well, I'm at 50. If yeah. you cut the corner, you. I'll you cut the last. corner, but I still have 10. 10 feet, yeah. So I'm going to keep it for Trev. All right. Cool. <clears throat> All right. So then that does it for your turn. Um, Trev, you're up. <clears throat> Bonus action rage. Cool. Good <laughs> idea. Uh, smart. Uh, Good old sword. Uh, I'm gonna swing with the great sword at the skull. Okay. Fuck up this that thing hurt so bad. 17 plus seven. That'll hit. And then I'll just do the second one now. 19 plus seven. That'll hit. Is that a crit? No. No. No, it's a half orc thing. Yeah. We'll figure with Thok I never did. 
Um, that's a... Oh, wait, wait. 12 slashing damage for the first one. Cool. And I'm going to do uh, Savage Attacker. No, the first one was better. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 for the second one. So 23 total? Correct. Cool, cool. And yeah, I'm going to stay right there. Sweet deal. Yeah. All right, good hits, good hits. Um, Carver, what are we doing, man? Okay. Um, well, I'm very low on health. You're here. <laughs> Is um, You're who? That's Trev, right? Like in front in, of it, in yeah. the center. So if yeah, I go on the north side of that claw, uh, it's there's a five foot space between me and the claw. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm gonna use. Is it 5, 10, 15, 20? With I'll, your brother. If, I don't know if I can get around. You should have enough space. Well, I'm, I'm also very close to death, so I'm going to tr- like swing wide as much as I can to get around to the back. So you can just move me, whatever that would be. Here? Uh, yeah, and then keep going. That way? Yeah. So, uh, no, 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 like uh, to the east. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, that's then, what, what's that? That's thirty. Okay, then I'm gonna lay on hands, so that cool. I have health again, and cast uh, magic weapon as my bonus action. Um. Okay. And then just, just be ready. Cool, cool, lay cool. on hands is, is an action, right? <clears throat> yes. Yes. Yo. So let's see. We'll start by seeing if the skull gets its breath weapon back. No. It does not. <laughs> um, Good. No. So it is going to... Fuck the skull. <laughs> Y'all were like, oh, we done. <laughs> no, I knew it wasn't. There was another door. We there was another doubt. <laughs> definitely knew we were uh, Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, I was going to say Carlos printed it, so he knew that there was something else coming. <laughs> uh, so he is going to uh, the skull is going to take a bite out of Trev um, so that's a 14 plus uh, plus 7, 21 to hit it destroys a duplicate I rolled for it Oh, how long does that spell last? a minute Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> a minute but one of the duplicates is gone so you're down two. Damage. Well, actually, you'd have to roll for damage still. Each one has a... They have hit points, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be gone. Yes, it's, it's gone. So I have two duplicates left. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, that does it for the skull. Um, yeah. Good. Oh, thank God for mirror. Cool. Man. So, good, yeah, good good job on Did the mirror. You um, <laughs> let's go to the next one, which is... Uh, we're up to Nezis again. So Nezis is, uh, now he knows that his breath weapon doesn't work. Did Nezis eat the candy? Yeah, and I got poisoned for it. Oh, that's right. So Nezis is going to make a attack. Uh, his first attack is going to miss. Uh, his second attack is going to crit. Um, yes. So it's double D6s, double D4s. Uh, six, five, that's 11, plus seven is 18. Um, cool. All right, so uh, the claw to the north is starting to look a little rough. Good. Um, so that does it for Nezis's turn. Felder, you are up, my man. Uh, Felder, very scared and worried, uh, is going to pop a candy in his mouth. Yeah. I love chaos magic. Sixty-three. Uh, you cast fog cloud centered on yourself. Okay. So, oh, not bad. I mean, it's very it humble. provides more art for what him. You like, right? Yeah. Wow. So that way, it grants wishes. <laughs> specifics in front of me. Uh, so. Uh, you create a 20-foot radius sphere of fog centered on a point within range, which is yourself. The sphere spreads around corners, and its area is heavily obscured. It lasts for the Just duration, like or until wind or a moderate of, or a greater speed, less than 10 miles per hour, disperses it. Um, so, yeah, so you're just kind of got a little bit of extra cover. Cool. Yeah. I'm fully, like, this is, like, full cover, right? 
full cover? No. You're not full cover. It adds more cover to you, but... Yes, yeah, so you're. I would say you're at, like, half cover. Okay. So Because you're not behind anything right now. There's not really anything in this room to hide behind. Yeah. Theoretically, George Washington is also in the cover. Would he be covered as well? He's 20 feet radius. Well, it's... Uh, 20 foot radius is centered on him. Yeah. So... Yeah. It, radius, not diameter. Yeah, radius. So he's within the radius. Yeah, so it'd be 20 feet Gotcha, around. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, Nezus would be in there. Nice. Yay for him. Cool. So that ends your turn. Are you moving or anything? Just stay put. Nope. Going to stay there and bonus action cry. Bonus <laughs> action cry. Cool, cool, cool. So go ahead and roll, roll for tears. Um, 14. That's 14 a lot of tears. tears. <laughs> That's a lot of tears. <laughs> That's when your mom throws out your Pokemon cards, tears. Okay, so this claw <laughs> is going to make its way towards you. So if I'll, stay that, dude. I'll take my reaction as Sentinel. <clears throat> go ahead and roll an attack. That's a no. That's yep. a natural two. That's not going to do it. Uh, so then the claw is going to uh, try and go ahead and make an attack on uh, on Felder. Cool. Gotcha. Um, half cover. What's that going to? Plus, plus two. Plus two to AC. Mm-hmm. So, gotcha. And you still have major armor up, right? Mm-hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Just double checking. Um, They're the same. So that is a 16 plus seven is a 23. Ooh, that definitely hits. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Uh, <laughs> So non huh? That definitely hits. That is going to be 10 plus 4 points of slashing damage. 14? 14, yep. Eat the whole bag of candy. <laughs> How many pieces can we eat at once? Uh, I <laughs> mean, it's one, Yo. In a- it's one in action. <laughs> I mean, if you want to take a handful, I say go for it. I'm, I I homebrewed this item into here because I thought it was funny. <laughs> so far, yep. It's amazing. Yo. Europe. Um, and then the other claw is just going to go ahead and attack at Nezus. Um, and that is a natural 20. Can't say Whoa. His name is George Washington. I was going to say, that's their word. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Did you just step on your dog? No, she just, no one was near her. She was freaked out. Okay, that's going to be 20 points of damage. <clears throat> How's how's this looking? Oh, he's not doing great. Okay, cool. Uh, No one can heal him. (laughs) He's down to like about a third of his max. All right, that ends the claws turns. Jack, what's up? Uh, I'm going to fuck up this skull, dude. I'm I'm going to fuck him up. I... Damn, Damn dose attacks right there. Okay, uh, Nat 18. I'll hit. Uh, Nat 18. Cool, cool. Do another flurry. Yeah, dump I'll, it. I'll, I'll dump another key point and I'll flurry again. Are you going to flurry blows again? Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure if you're going to get flurry or, or uh, stunning. So. Yeah, so Nat 16 and then 23. Yeah. 21. Natural 20. Go for him, man. So all four hit. Oh. Dude! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here as your math sensei. It's, <laughs> That's cool. not promising. <laughs> That's why I take so long and I'm behind the screen. I'm like... You have a calculator. I, sometimes I use the calculator. <laughs> I, it's, I use the calculator when I take damage from you guys. Um, sorry. 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 Uh, Four times four is sixteen. So sixteen. Sixteen base. Um, twenty. So yeah, twenty. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Twenty-nine. Um, okay. Thirty. Thirty. Thirty points of damage. Thirty. One of them gets doubled, right? Oh, that's right. The last because I I crit it. Yep. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. <laughs> <laughs> double the dice, right? <laughs> Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. Skull, and then, skull still there. With my furry, flurry of blows, I'm going to... Fuck, I'm going to beat feet to... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to hide right behind Carver. <laughs> Protect me! I'm, Don't leave I'm me! I'm very bl- banged up. I'm like, ow! Cool. All right, sweet deal. Um, so that'll that'll do that. Uh, that's the end of your turn. Yes. Trev, you up? 
I'm gonna keep swinging at the motherfucker. Go for it, man. <clears throat> or do I want can't? No, I'm gonna keep swinging. I want my last. <laughs> I want my. I want my last rage. Yeah, like I can't I lose just, it. I just think it's funny how how into the candy. You I love. I love. <laughs> the first one's a natural seventeen. Okay. The second one is ooh, not as good. Twelve. That'll miss. So that'll be the first one. Listen, uh, I'm gonna do no. ooh. Listen, let's do that. Savage Attacker. <laughs> that's better. That's nine plus <coughs> four, thirteen slashing damage. Cool. Um, I don't want to put myself there because yeah, I'm just gonna have to stay where I am. Okay. No, don't want to take an opportunity attack. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm gonna rotate that way. Okay, stay within its attack range. Correct. Right. Um, do this. That way, if it does regain its breath weapon, it can't get a lot of people at once. It has to decide. Well, it did get its breath weapon back. Then. Uh, <laughs> and it's going to probably go towards the people that he can get the most damage done at the same time. So that'll be a dexterity saving throw. Or sorry, a constitution saving throw. Can I do side reaction sentinel? Because it's attacking someone that's not me. Uh, is there a range of what it's attacking that's not you? It just says when a creature attacks a, another creature that is not you. Sure. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Kill it, kill it kill Against it, a target it. other than you. Yeah, no You get advantage on that? Oh, no, I don't. What am I doing? Sorry. Let me just... How much you want to reckless it? Oh, yeah. Let's... Can you reckless it? Like, I don't know if I can on a reaction. I don't think you can. I mean, regardless, I think that's going to miss. 8 plus 7? That'll miss. Yeah. 15. Yeah. So, it'll so miss. Constitution right saves for turn. Carver and uh, uh, Jack? Plus Six. 3. Oh, nine. Uh, 19. Okay, you succeed. You fail. Yeah, I'll just get the time. Uh, four, seven. Don't kill me. 15. <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> so that's going to be 28 points of necrotic damage. So I'm down. Uh. So you're at, you get 14 points, Carver. 14? Okay. So. All right, you are down. Correct. There's how much? 28. 28. How down are you? Pretty down. I'm not dead, but close. You're unconscious. So I start making death saves. Cool, right, cool. Sir. Sweet deal. All right. Oh, okay. um, so that is uh, Nezus's turn. Uh, it's now up to Nezus. Uh, let's see what he can do here. 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay. Um, he's going to go ahead and take the opportunity attack. To get over to you here. Because he saw you go down, so opportunity attack. Uh, it's going to be a 10 plus 7. That misses. Okay, um, and he's going to go ahead and shove a greater potion of healing down. Oh, thank God. Okay. Um, so that'll be uh, 44, plus 44, 44 plus 4. Okay. I'm up by 4, at least 6. 8 plus 2. 10. 14. Come on, dude. Can't grab the ice. No, I can't. Uh, 16. Cool. 16 points. You're up to 16 then. Oh, thank God. All righty. Um, go, oh, what the shit? <laughs> then that means, so you are prone right now, but uh, um, that'll end Nezus' turn. Felder, you are up, my dude. So, um, I'm going to put it's more candy. a... Hmm. And this one, the one that uh, is in front of me, looks completely fine. Has not been hit. Yeah. Great, 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 great. And now there's two directly in front of me. They are near you. Excellent. Right. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove a pepper in my mouth and cast Dragon's Breath mm -hmm. on myself for my last spell slot uh, I have humanly possible. And uh, I'm going to then exude acid right at the claw in front of me. Sick. And is the, uh, it is a deck save cool. of 16. Uh, dex for it. Uh, it has advantage, but it rolled double sevens, uh, so that is uh, 10. So That's you a succeed. failure. 
five. Eleven points of acid. Eleven points of damage. Cool. All right. Um, then that means it is the Claw's turn. Uh, mm. Claws don't have any cool magic abilities like breath weapons, so uh, the one that's there is going to attack you. Um, You're still in a fog cloud, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so does a 24 hit? Yep. Never mind. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, nine points of slashing damage. Okay. And then the other claw. Oh. No. The squishy. It's what was in front of him. It just makes sense. Um, uh, does a nine hit? No. Hey, there we go. <laughs> well, natural, <laughs> natural two, natural two, everybody. Um, yeah. So that means we are top of the order, Jack. You are currently prone. Uh, what are we doing? Using my five feet. I'm a get up. I'm gonna go to George. Thank you. You're doing the Lord's work. <laughs> Uh, Who's George? Washington. <laughs> and, uh, 15, did 25. Did so I get skipped? Still five feet of Trev. Mm-hmm. Did you? No, you went before the skull. What did I? What did I do? Oh, well, I made on hands. That's right. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna move up with uh, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I still have my movement. Mm-hmm. Oh God, I'm gonna be feet. And I'm going to Fist of Fury this bitch. So let's see how the first two go, and then we'll see where we're at. How's it look? Not great. With advantage. Uh, so, so let's see if I crit. Okay. Uh, 13 plus 7, so 20. Double hit. Uh, I'm going to Fury, Fury of Blows it. Flurry of Blows. Yep. Flurry of Blows. So the second one doesn't hit. Three, so 14... Team doesn't hit. Team again. Uh, modded twenty. So two modded twenties. Those will hit. Okay. So I'm going to. <clears throat> so the base is um. Eight. Yep. Yeah. Nine. Nine. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Still there. <laughs> and then uh, I used how much? Uh, 25. 25? Yeah. So 30, 35, 40. No. Uh, fuck. I'll just move back to where I was. I'm going to go. I hit it a lot. It didn't work. Cool. <clears throat> Trev, you are up. Uh. Because I forgot I can do this. I'm going to attack recklessly at it. Go for it, man. Do it. I forgot that was a thing. That's a natural 17 plus that, 7. That'll hit. The second one's a natural 19. Cool. So the first one, that'll be 13 damage. With the attack. Oh. Smash the skull cool. to pieces. So with my second attack, would I have been able to move to the claw and attack you that one? You will. Uh, yeah, you can, you can go ahead and do that. That was the natural 19 one. Yeah. Was that okay? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's I might not die. That would have been... Ooh. That's 15 damage on... I'll say I attacked the one further south. The one further south? Okay. Yeah. So 15 damage on that claw. Uh, okay. Cool, and, cool, cool. Uh, I will... If I, if I was able to, I would flank it. If I was able to. If not, it's not. It's all good. No, you're, you, that's good. No, uh, and that's it. Cool. All right. Then we are on uh, Carver. You are up, my man. Okay. Uh, can I make it there? Do I have, Will 30 make it there? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yep. Okay. Then I'm going to attack with the Warhammer. Go you're at advantage. It. I'm at advantage. Uh, do. That is 16 plus 8, so 24. That'll hit. Where's my 8? Right now you're attacking the one that's been hit more, so the yep. weaker one. Uh, so my first attack does 6 points of damage. 6 points of damage, okay. Do 12 plus 8, modded 20. Mm-hmm. That does 5 plus 4, so 10 points of damage. And second piece of skull dragon has now fallen to pieces claw 
The North Claw has been taken. North Claw. So I was like, what in tarnation? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that means it is Nezus's turn. Uh, Nezus is uh, going to start making his way. That's as close as he can really get. Um, uh, and he doesn't he doesn't have a javelin on him, so all he can do is move. Uh, so Felder, you are up. Uh, I'm going to back up uh, slightly, okay. just so that I don't hit uh, my friend with my acid breath, because I think he would be in the cone. You can rotate like too. Do you still have your acid breath after you've lost it once, or after you? It's for a minute. It? Yeah, it lasts okay. for a minute. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just double checking. Yeah, yeah. So it's just a concentration check. Mm-hmm. Sweet deal. Uh, well, you are, if you're going to move and back up, he will have an attack of opportunity on you. Pat, you can just rotate around him. Mm-hmm. And not, not get the opportunity to attack. Like, no. no, but if you rotate around it towards me. Like, like that. Like that. Oh, right. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do that then. And he has to make a deck save. Uh, does a 19 succeed? That does succeed, but he still takes half damage. Cool. Eight. 16 points have t- to eight. Cool deal. All right, so then he, uh, the claw is now going to rotate over to you, so it can go ahead and take a swipe. You got the sentinel, right? I do. It didn't, um, he didn't change paths though uh but he rolled a natural one he attacked so, he attacked someone that's not me yeah not. he still rolled a natural one so it's <laughs> he's not making contact on him my man that's a natural 18 to hit him cool cool go ahead and roll damage that's seven 11 damage swiping or swiping slashing <laughs> swiping. <laughs> you got him man okay um so that means the claw's done jack you are up I'm gonna go. Do you guys still need help, or you got this, or just lay down? Um, uh, I mean, forty-five. Okay, I'm gonna move forty-five feet. Uh, so much movement. Fifty. You're flanked. Hell yeah. I'm going to attack him twice. Go for it. Uh, 13 plus 7 minus 20. 20, yep. Yeah, uh, let's see if I crit. Nope. Second one. Come on, Teddy. Uh, natural 17. So Both will hit. Both will hit. Um, that's going to be uh, 8 base. Uh, that's... 13. Thank you. Uh, 17. 17. How do you want to do this? I'm going to say the d- same dumb joke. <laughs> okay, I'm going to set you up for the joke, and you got to... What What was my dad's favorite drink? Wine! <laughs> and I'm going to break through the the hands and with as you my do, fist. As you do that, you just see these skull fragments from the Draco Husk Claw just <laughs> shatter all about the room as you guys have now gone through and destroyed every last bit uh, of what was in there. That was water. Water. But you didn't like the, like what I was, the noise I was, but then you said afterward that it was wine. Yeah, but that wasn't part of the, you say wine weird. Wine? I'm gonna, no, not you. He does. He says it like water. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't, uh, whatever. I don't understand him all hmm. the time. So take out my shades. <sighs> so we start making our way back out. Well, one thing that I will say is um, throughout the battle, you guys would have noticed that behind the uh, behind the dragon, the, the like, Draco husk skulls, uh, you'd find a good amount of buried gold and gems because you got to remember this was a dragon's lair at some point. Oh, yeah. So there is a uh, bountiful amount of wealth. So if you guys want to go ahead and make some investigation checks, uh, you can go ahead and see what you can find. I'd like to look for booze first. There's uh, like yeah, some really you can go nice ahead. If you want to roll specifically for booze, you can go ahead wanna, and do that. I want to roll for booze. Okay, roll. Roll. I want to roll for booze. <laughs> we all leave the gold booze. Like that, I'm going to have to go. Uh, 24. Or no booze. 
So I got a nat 19 plus. There's no booze already. <laughs> There's not any booze. Is there anything that's like alcoholic? No. It could be lighter, lighter fluid, baby. I'll take it. You have lighter fluid. I do. I was ready to drink it. The 21. So I'll go ahead and use those for your guys' investigation rolls. Uh, you rolled really high. So if you dig around for um, <clears throat> like maybe five minutes, you're going to find probably about mm, 1,800 or so gold pieces and uh, in, in coins and probably about 250 uh, gold pieces worth of rubies. Ew, it's rubies. Um, you also find what looks to be, um, just because you're magically attuned, so I'll give it to you, uh, what seems to be a cloak of protection, oh. uh, seemingly woven out of silver scales, and a smart. ring of resistance. Um, set with a red garnet, so you can go ahead and uh, you have those. These are mine. Get away. I will Whoa, sense- what do you have? Nothing. I will sentinel your ass so, so you damn got fast. About 2,000 gold pieces worth, Hell yeah. worth, the, worth the money plus right. Yo, the you know, items. Richard. R.I.P.P. Oh, and Milton. Milton and Peter are both dead. Your, your father did like wine though, right? Was still wine? Yeah. Okay, I'm just asking. All right, so as you guys <laughs> start to that? leave the low crater, yes, you notice that now the statues in the previous room are no longer active. Uh, they're not shooting breath weapons out at you. Good. I'm tired of this. As you get all the way outside, you don't see any signs of kobolds or any of the priests or wizards. You make it all the way out. And all the way, on the way out, you find the remaining members of the Sable Spears coming down, and you walk your way down the path towards them. Frenel greets you um, enthusiastically and asks how you fared. Frank, it was a very long battle, and Peter fought very valiantly, but unfortunately he did not make it it. What happened to him? He turned into a dragon. And then we killed him. What? Huh? That's what? not quite it. He was. I may or may not be drunk. Water. Oh, ah! He uh. was. He was made into a sacrifice to Tiamat, and and changed and tried to kill us. So we had to kill him. Oh, fucking hell. But and I I grabbed the sigil and him. I have this, and I hand it to him. Thank you. Thank you all so much. We really appreciate the help. My and you guys seem like you cleared all the kobolds out of there too. Yeah, no. and a dragon. Mike, uh, switch your switch your screen. Oh, yeah. like the bone. Like it wasn't like alive anymore. It was like bone. It was a bone daddy. It was big and scary. Bone daddy. Mm. Oh, it seems like you guys really got into it. Yeah, you should probably give us more money. He's not wrong. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, obviously it's upsetting to know that Peter died and that, you know, we couldn't really get to the remains of Milk now, but I'll give you the whole purse. Take the whole purse. So it gives you guys the 2,000 gold pieces. And, and 18. Uh, huh? The 18 gold as well. Oh, we found you, guys found, you guys found the 2,000, 2,050 gold in the in the crater, and then you guys just got an additional so 2,000 gold right now. You guys are four thousand gold up right now. Oh hell yeah! Um, well, four thousand and fifty gold up. That's um, right. and from there, the remaining sable spears say that they will secure the crater, drive off anything uh, that is remaining, and um, try and go and dig out the remains of Milgar. Uh, but I cast gentle repose on him, so he shouldn't be completely disgusting when you find him. Don't want that. <laughs> don't quite know what that means. I'm not much of a magic man myself, but. Sounds like a, something that I appreciate you for. What? Uh, <laughs> and wow. with that, <laughs> the dumbest joke that's ever been said at our D and D table. That's definitely not no, true. It's, definitely not. it's up there though. <laughs> it's up there. Um, we have completed uh, tonight's one shot, the low crater. So thank you guys. Thank Ooh, you. Man. I hope I wasn't too awful. You were the worst. No, wait, wait, time out. The last thing I want to do is I want to pop a candy right yeah. now. Shut up. I was just Okay, so everyone take one more candy. Yeah, okay, I'm going to take all five. Fuck it. I'm 65? I'm going to take all five. Uh, oh my god, Josh is taking all five. Up to, uh, go ahead and pick three creatures within 30 feet of you. Three creatures? Yeah. I want the dude in front of me. Is there anyone around him? Uh, I mean, there's other Sable Spears. I'll take one of those and Trev. 
Cool. Um, go ahead and roll four d ten. Sweet. Oh no. You know where this is going. You do know where this is going. Chuck, you still reading? No, uh, I don't think so. He's gonna die. Nine, nine points. Uh, that's nine points of lightning damage. Uh, what a four d ten. Or wait. 11. 11 points of lightning damage. What a... Cool, cool. All right, so who else ate a piece of candy? 67. 67. Uh, you are frightened by the nearest creature until the end of your next turn. I, I got hit by lightning. Oh, <laughs> I'm running. I got a six. A six. Um, I'm going to die. A, a Modron chosen and controlled by the DM appears in an unoccupied space within five feet of you, then disappears one minute later. Wait. <laughs> so he's just going to be sitting there... <laughs> I heard what you said. I'm not gonna make him do nothing. He's I heard the joke it. you said. What? Uh, so Josh took. All I took all five. five. What'd you roll? Uh, I rolled 18, 24, 18? 50. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I thought you were just gonna like get them all at once. Okay, eighteen. Cool. Eighteen. You grow a long beard made of feathers that remains until you sneeze. At which point the feathers explode out of your face. I will never sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love this character now. One. Wow. Uh, hold on. I gotta write down feather beard. Because <laughs> we're definitely coming back. I am now. Um, Twenty-four. It's the same world that you created. It is. It's in Octero. You're going to Octero. Cool. What was the next one? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Uh, your skin turns a vibrant yeah. shade of blue. Uh, remove curse spell. Can end this effect. He's Love a blue dragon. He's a blue feather beard. <laughs> oh dragon. God. What kind of fucked up abomination did you just create? Wait, keep going. Forty-seven. Forty-seven. Oh, let's see. Um, a unicorn controlled by the DM appears in a space within five feet of you and then appears, it disappears one minute later. Oh, I pet it. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> That's it. Her name is Clarence. <laughs> uh, 57. 57? Yep. For the next minute, any flammable object that you touch that isn't being worn or carried by another creature bursts into flame. Oh, oh God. God. I'm going to start a forest fire. <laughs> The forest. <laughs> Don't touch your beard. Uh, 63. 63, you cast Fog Cloud centered on yourself. Oh, okay. <laughs> no one can see my new look. Uh -oh. Was that all five? Yep, that was all five. I have one candy left. I, I have two take, left. I have four left. Do you guys just want to take the rest of the candy? Hell yeah! Uh, I don't want to die, though. 24. 24. My last candy. Uh, you got vibrant shade of blue skin or remove curses. The spell is so no now spray. I'm blue and I'm running away yeah, from blue. Blue. And I'm a demon. I reach out to fist bump uh, Trev. <laughs> blue hands. Blue boys. <laughs> blue Roll AD10. Jesus Christ, there's extra. Four. Uh, you are four inches taller. <gasps> you just randomly grow four inches taller. You're so small. I'm not. Uh, I got 22. 22. Uh, creatures have disadvantage on saving throws against the next spell that you cast in the next minute that involves a saving throw. So that doesn't. Really I happen. cast You're Hurtful. <laughs> um, I fail. 18. 18. <laughs> uh, you're also feather bearded. <laughs> I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. I reach out to fist bump Jack. Uh, 62. 62. Uh, for the next minute, you must shout when you speak. <laughs> Wait, what? Yo, I think this candy's working, y'all. <laughs> And then last one is going to be a 17. Oh, so close. Um, Featherbeard. I have extra Featherbeard? 17? Feather Yo, yeah. I'm Gandalf, y'all. Feather pubes. Nine <laughs> is my last one. Nine is your last one? Yeah. Uh, you cast Magic Missile as a fifth level spell. Oh. <laughs> fireworks. <laughs> That's the fireworks at the end of the movie. You can shoot it up into the air. That's fine. You guys really oh, lucked out that you did Seven or eight was that you cast fireball centered on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's how this should have ended. We all die. That would have killed me. Killed all of us, dude. So, yeah. <laughs> with that, <laughs> that part ended pretty fun. Um, that brings us to the end of the Low Crater. Thank you guys so much uh, for hanging out. Thank you to Winghorn Press and DMs Guild. For the hookup, go ahead and support them. I think I bought this one shot for a dollar and seventy cents. Um, sure, so you can't Definitely. argue with that. It was a good time. Um, I'll go ahead and send it over to Josh and Pat so they can do the Junk Drawer official sign off. All right, guys. Uh, so that was it. We're in, our next one shot will be uh, up for you guys hopefully next week, but also maybe not. I don't know how life's gonna go. 
Yeah, uh, uh, Josh and I still have our one shots to DM, and then campaign two, <laughs> we're all super, super excited. So very um, sit tight, get ready for that, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Josh, take us out. Yeah, like, like, comment, subscribe. Tell us your favorite color and and your favorite brand of not brand flavor of Lacroix and um, White Claw as well. Oh, coconut and black, black cherry. cherry. Oh, God. a mango. <laughs> Yeah. Mango's, mango's good when it's cold. Bye. Why, Bye. Why would you not drink it cold? Bye. <laughs>